Hello everyone. Mina san o ha konbanichiwa. Konnichiwa. How's it going today? Today we are going to be doing the、Hi. lesson 10 kanji live stream. Welcome. I hope you can hear us. Got a bit of a different setup today. Should look about the same. But、ね、as you can see, Happy belated to Thanksgiving. Happy belated Thanksgiving. <laughs> the last live stream was Thanksgiving, so I don't think we have、ね、to cover that anymore. So, we all did a decoration. Christmas. Yuki asked if you guys have done any decorations yet for whatever holiday you're celebrating.、Um, we have not. We were going to put up a Christmas tree, but we didn't yet, did we?、うん、Hopefully.、ね、Hopefully.、うん Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> not a vampire. Kuroi to shiroi. Yes,、ね、actually, it's kind of、ね、like a blue, I think. Dark,、まあ、dark blue. Yeah. Navy? Something like that. Steve Jobs style.、ね、yeah, she's, she's calling it Steve Jobs style. I'm decorating my desk tomorrow. Nice. We're almost done putting our Christmas decorations up. Nice. Some lights are up, and the tree has been up for two years. Wow. wow. <laughs> Sounds like my mom. She likes to leave the tree up for a long time. ね、tree will cut to stick with the Korokara Hajime Naito. Yeah, no, we're, we're not going to do that. I think real trees here in Japan, I don't even know if you can get them. If you can, they're very expensive.、ねねううね、Where are they selling them? I have no idea. I, I'm sure there's somewhere that does it, but I don't know. I'm still waiting for our tree to arrive from Nitori. Oh, Nitori、oh, Kara、nice, Yate Kurun the Ne. Nice. We, uh, a couple years ago at my old job, I told the co worker that we didn't have a tree, and she was like, Well, we're not having that. And she, she bought us a little, a little Christmas tree. It was very、ね、nice. Of her. My boyfriend leaves a tree up on his desk, but only plugs it in after Thanksgiving. Okay. Nice, nice.、Mm. We should, maybe we should put it back here this year since we're doing live streams every day. We usually put、ね、it downstairs. We could put、so、it like, right there. So, it's in the castle. Eh? So, it's in the castle. I can't decorate yet. I'm still traveling, but I usually wait till December 1st or later. The stores bring Christmas too soon. I agree. Today is November 30th. We've got one day left over here until December 1st. That is hard to believe, but it is what it is. Nah. So, today we are going to be jumping over into lesson 10. Hi. I forgot to hide my face at the very beginning of the video、uh, this time when I was editing. <coughs> I was、uh, recording a video on how to edit this video because I'm going to ask a friend of mine to、uh, edit it for me in the future because I need to work on some other stuff. Uh, and I forgot to do this part. Anyway, why don't we. Hayayo, to it, did you go? Hayayo, to it, did you go? Ah, ano. Christmas tree, Christmas tree, the cotto, janai, this guy. Probably talking about the Christmas tree stuff, but I'm not sure. Hi. Yeah. So, we are going to jump right into it today. We've got a bunch of kanji to cover and a few extra things. Normal size mugs instead of the huge mugs from the USA. Yeah, yeah.、It、just, we've got the.、Uh, let's see if I can pop this over. Little tiny ones. Although my head's pretty big, so this is, this is not, it's not that small, right? <laughs> We do have a Starbucks mug that is, yeah, bigger, but it's still not huge. It's not like, it's not like the one at my grandmother's house. Let's see if you can see it. It's got some cool designs on there.、ね、<laughs> anyway, oh, Yuki's face is in, in my shot here today. I must have moved it a little bit. Yay! <laughs> 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 All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the video today. w a t a s t a c h i w a n e k o ga h a p p i k i iru kara. Ara! Kiwa arimasen. s u g o i d e s ne. h a p p i k i no neko ga i m a s ne. Neko tachi ga no bot tara sa. Ne, tsuri poku mieru cat to tower ni sirva in jarai. Ah, they, she said you could always make a cat tower that looks like a Christmas tree. But they just rip off all the lights and stuff. Cat, cats,、uh, まあ、they have、ね、some. Ah, Ropiki, ne? Ropiki. Still a lot, a lot of cats. Nice. Eh? Ah, Ropiki, ka. Six cats. All right,、Welcome、let's go ahead and jump into it. Tokini Andy Kanji lesson. Today we're going to cover the meaning, building blocks, writing, 
historical evolution where applicable, and a story to memorize each of the following kanji. We'll also learn the parts and radicals needed for those kanji. Today, there are three new parts. Ooh, By the way, stick around to the end to of the lesson today. where we'll be doing a quick quiz to help everything stick. And yeah. check out the pinned comment below this video to see why we're not learning readings for each kanji. I've been asked this question so many times that I just, I, I was like, I need to add a pinned comment to every video. In fact, I need to add this pinned comment to this video, like, right now. I should probably just go copy and paste that off the Lesson 9 video while I'm talking to you guys and make sure that it's there. Because literally, like, the first comment on every single video is, why don't you teach Welcome to all the of the onyomi and kunyomi? And I was like... And someone mentioned, like, the original video for this series, uh, it doesn't have the same type of thumbnail, so people don't realize there's, like, an introduction, which is fair enough. But I'm going to add that right now and comment and pin it. Yes, pin. Okay, so I'm just going to mention that right now on while we're talking. So why we don't teach readings yet, as mentioned in the introduction video to this series, it is my philosophy that it's a waste of time to learn the readings for each kanji in isolation. I explain why in that video. To learn how to read kanji, I think it's best to learn words that contain that kanji in the context of sentences. We will be doing we will be doing that in this series after learning the meaning and writing for the 118 kanji on the JLPTN5 and Kanken 10 tests. So fear not, you will learn how to read them in the future. Yes. Yo, konnichi, what's up? Do Dirt Farms 915. How's it going? Yuki Sensei, you've written so many amazing kanji names for us. Can I ask what kanji does your name use? Ooh, that's oh, a good question. Oh, watashi no kanji? And you almost tricked me with the tadashi quiz. Haha. <laughs> watashi no namae wa dan desu. Konnichi wa dan san. Konnichi wa. How's it going? Yuki's going to show you her kanji right now. So, Hai. pop back over to this. right and right there the first kanji in yuki's name means to have Hi. or to exist and the second kanji means hope so yuki's Hi. name you could translate it as to have hope <laughs> yes so to have hope have hope Good question, Kaylee. Hi, watashi no kanji desu. All right, so on we go. Just yet. Let's get into it. We're starting today with a part. Technically, this is a kanji, but it's on the absolute highest level of kanji tests that natives take. The kanken one. So we're only... You can expect since it's on the kanken one that it's probably... It's not very common in like words that are used. And if it is used for words that are commonly used, it's they're likely written in hiragana or with um, with different kanji. So sometimes a word has many different kanji. And this is probably one of the more rare ones. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, alk, 3v. Ever going to be learning this as a part that means grass clippers. It does have an official radical. No. But no need to worry about that. Technically, the parts for this is. could be no and backwards no. But we're good. Officially, I think the parts are no and backwards. I'm going to no. leave it alone and consider it a part on its own. But since it's simple pictographically, enough. this one is pretty easy to remember. There I think I learned this one originally as X marks the spot or something like that. There are two strokes in grass clippers. As with most diagonal lines, we start with the one that is pulled back right to left and finish with the backwards no. That's a good question, Ms. Jerica. It does look very simpler, simple, uh, but I don't know why it's not used. Maybe because it's too simple. It almost looks like the hiragana me, mm -mm -mm. or the katakana me, I'm sorry, the katakana me. So that could be part of it. Maybe it, it's too easy to confuse with that, but I'm not sure. Nope, yeah, nothing to do with snowy bread. So, so nan desu yo. でも私思うんですけどほとんどのユキっていう名前の人日本人のユキっていう名前の人はあの漢字がそのスノーのユキじゃんユキっていう人は少ないんじゃないかとねあ、there's yeah there's very few people who are named Yuki that have the snow kan
あ、ありがとうございます。はい、OK。So anyway, yeah, so that's, that's probably part of it. But cutting right down the middle and making a nice pair of grass clippers. Historically, this used to look、It's、more like a scythe crown, at、yeah. one point, but mostly it hasn't changed much. So for our story, we're going with a pictogram. That is a good point, Kaylee. <laughs> graph of clippers for cutting grass. Remember that it's a good idea to pause. Someone mentioned in the,、uh, in the chat, I think it was Kaylee, that they would hate to, to have to cut their grass this way. That would be pretty terrible. It takes long enough with a regular lawnmower. Pause the video after each story and really try to imagine it. Or to create a story of your own that will help you remember the kanji even better. Make sure the story contains the meaning and every single part in some way. Our first kanji to use the last part. So, obviously, we're not teaching that as a kanji, just the part. So, we're not going to be going over how to draw that just yet. This will be the first kanji that we're going to learn how to type and、It、will be、draw. father. The official radical for father is itself father. But we can break it down into an eight and grass clippers. There are four strokes in father, which perfectly illustrate the rule that with multiple diagonal lines, the one <laughs>、exactly. written right to left is drawn first. We draw eight. This is actually the kanji that I used to illustrate the sort of rule that these kind of diagonal lines are usually, if there's more than one, are usually written starting with the one that begins on the right and is pulled back, followed by the one that goes. Left to right? Do you know? That's the kind of thing. So, so, I think this. Do you know? Ah, chichi, right? So, 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 so. Yeah. And、um, I think it, because it, it has four diagonal strokes. Lamy the Clown says, yeah, in the Yankee deck, you have X marks a spot and grass clippers as separate cards. Interesting. Is that an error then? I have grass clippers and X marks a spot as a different card. Yeah, something might have slipped through there. I'm going to have to check that when I go through for the update. Not vampire and. Yeah, that's fine. It's all good just to hang out and see what happens. But anyway, with the、yeah. stroke on the left, which、so、is drawn see... right to left first, then the leg on the right, as expected. Then the grass clippers on the bottom are drawn with the diagonal line that goes right to left being first, and the backwards no last. So yeah, they just, they just flow better. You know, you go this way, then this way. And then this way, and then this way. And, and what happens is if you draw diagonal lines like this with the ones that start right to left and then left to right, what ends up happening is you finish over in the right, bottom right corner, which is where you're generally going to be finishing all kanji with. So that's probably why that is. I feel like this kanji flows perfectly, especially the calligraphy. Historically, this kanji was supposed to be a hand holding an axe, marking the father as the one who protects the family. This This one, it's, it looks like a, the axe is part of his finger. Like, this is the hand. This is clearly, it's very similar to all of the hand kanji we had from last week, but it's just got that extra line, like, attached to it. So I guess he's, like, got an axe on his middle finger or something. <laughs> this one, though, is clearly an alien jumping out of father. So much for protecting the family, Dad. For our story, sorry if that was a bit graphic, we'll be setting aside the aliens and saying. Eight out of ten fathers would like grass clippers for Father's Day. Imagine a committee of ten fathers deciding on what are appropriate Father's Day gifts or something. Eight of them hold up their circle signs indicating that grass clippers are acceptable. Or you can just use the pictograph of eight horse legs over grass clippers. Why didn't I think of that image of a committee before releasing the Yankee deck? Yeah, that might be it. That might be it, Lamy the Clown.、Um, that's a good point. Actually, I, might, I may actually have them split up for this video in the video series. I can't remember. I have the list and I've been going through so many kanji lately, I can't remember exactly what I did. But yeah, that's a good point.、Uh, <laughs> Vbrad says, I would like to request a separate storyline based on the aliens of ancient China. It'd be cool if I just had like a continuing story for every single kanji going in order. That would have got my creative juices going. That could have been fun. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe for N4. <sighs> Since we learned、oh. father, obviously. All right. Hi. All right. So let's go ahead and jump over to the drawing board, which I think is right here. Hi. All right. Today, I'm going to be, I guess I'll be green. Green. Hi. And we're going to see how Yuki would draw it and how I would draw it. Hi. Hmm. 
So it's very much. Her, her left side got a little bit long, she said. You can clearly see it's just a straight up eight radical on top, not two dots, uh, as is often. I think some places will teach that this is two dots, but it's very clearly, to me at least, an eight followed by these grass clippers. Uh, sword without knowing when first learning, I had thought it was two cross blades for protecting people. That that could be a fine way to think about it, to be on honest. But uh, anyway, so you can see with Yuki, she sort of curves that about a little bit, like a like a no. Uh, mine are not quite that pretty. There's my father. Ooh, I got I got praise for mine. They look very like a light green on the on the camera, but. I think fathers, fathers are not too difficult to write. I think, I, like I said in the video, I feel like it flows really nicely. So I feel like it's kind of easy to write just because of how easily it flows. <laughs> but let's see how Yuki would write this fast. Fast, ne? A sad panda. <laughs> yeah, even fast, it doesn't really change much, eh? Like if I were to draw it fast, I'm kind of extended here, but. For me, I guess when I write it fast, it's a little bit more of an X. No, nah, it looks exactly the same for me. Mm. Oh, it gets a little bit shorter. Ah, I see. So when people draw it really fast, it's possible that the second stroke and the third stroke sort of connect. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, but usually it's that one. Mm. Just like that. Well, that's pretty terrible. But but I've seen it like that before, so it's not as actually unusual as you'd think. <laughs> that's the one she practiced. You can actually, if you look at this, you could totally kind of see like two axes crossed. Like if you think of it like... Um, then... Two axes crossed or something like that. Oh. You can kind of see that, right? So oh, that that would sort of reach back to the historical origins of it and see these as two axes instead of the eight. If you just wanted to have a more visual story, which is completely fine at this point. Like, I like having a story for these. I'd probably so I'd use this uh, this what do you call it? Committee of fathers, and then I'll probably put. I'd probably put them in future stories. But it's such a simple kanji that you could really just have like two dads crossing their axes or something and then use them in future stories as well. That would be perfectly fine. Anyway, to type, <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with fathers, but it's cute. To type this kanji, what you're going to want to do for the test is use the hiragana, I believe, chichi. Hi. Chichi will be the fastest way to get this kanji to show up for you. Chi chi. Wow. Or ti ti. Ti ti. Ti ti is definitely the fastest way. Ti ti. Ti ti or chi chi. And that will get you the kanji right away. Chi chi looks like a panda. Perfect. Yeah. That's it. Ato. Fu deru fu. 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 Mm. Mm, let's see. Fu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-one. Oh. To. To. That one is also not on the first or the second page. Ah, to. Otosan shika dame da. So, like, tamo otosan shika henkan shinai kamo. Yeah, no, no. Definitely just chichi is the way you're gonna get that kanji to show up for the quiz easily. I almost forgot to hit the space bar again. <laughs> yes, yes, the space bar is important. So you get TT or Chichi and space bar, enter, enter. And that gets it for you on screen. All right, very good. So let's jump back over to the video and we'll learn about moms. Grass clippers. Why didn't I think of that image of a committee before releasing the Yankee deck? <sighs> Since we learned father, obviously, I seem to be frustrated with myself in this video. <laughs> Next, we want to learn mother. The official radical of mother is mother. We should note, though, that when this shows up as a radical in other kanji, it usually looks like this. 
with the two dots turned into a single line, meaning this has one less stroke than the kanji when it's used as a part or radical in other kanji. We'll break this kanji down into three parts, ku part, a dot, or two dots, and one. There is a fourth part in there, but not one we'll be learning separately. It's similar to the flexed arm we learned in strength. I'm starting to wonder if we shouldn't have just taught that as an actual part. I don't think I've seen this like listed as a part anywhere before, this that sort of curved this thing. Let's pop over here for a second. I don't think I've seen this as a part before. A little flexed arm like that. Um, oh, hi, hi, hi. But... Yes, that. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this mentioned as a part, and that's why I didn't, when I was creating the list, I didn't do it. But when I started making the videos, I realized how like common it really actually is. So uh, I may go back when I do the first update for the uh, the quiz or for the Anki deck, and I may add this as a part just because like it's so common. Like it's here, it's in Chikara, it's in it's in a bunch of different things. So I don't know, maybe useful. We'll see. Hmm. There are five strokes in Mother. First, we draw the Ku part at a very similar yeah. angle to the one drawn in Woman. I ask Kev MB MBT. That is that is one of the parts. I think we already covered that part, but yeah, if you just add the no there, that is one of the enclosures that is very common. So this could also be a part of that, like no plus flexed arm is whatever we call that enclosure again. Oh. Red on my fingers. <laughs> Back we go. Then the flexing arm part, similar to the one we use in strength. We curve in the bottom of this stroke after passing through the bottom of ku. This is a little unusual, as usually I'd expect to close a box like this after drawing the inside parts. Yes, Bbrat says this one is so hard to write. The first and second stroke making the wonky rectangle always look terrible for me. Yeah, so similar to woman. Woman is also, it looks deceptively simple, but it's an extremely difficult kanji to write. This one is another one of those. I think part of it is where you start the ku. So just like last week when we were going over woman, like I always used to write it like this with a normal ku position and then like this and then it always ends up looking like really weird. But if you think of more the back of the woman sort of straight and coming out like that, it's still not great, but it starts to look a little better. So when we get we'll we'll get over to writing this in a minute. But I think it's probably similar with this. It's making sure that the this what do you call it? The first part of the ku is straighter than you would expect. But that is not the case with mother. The it's next like two strokes man. are the dots on the inside, after which we cut right through the middle of everything with our one. Yes. Remember how I said the ku part is written very similar to the one in woman? Well, that's no coincidence. Historically, this was written very similarly to woman, almost identically. There were By the way, I, I forgot to put a or yeah, I forgot to put marks here, but the top one is the historical versions of a woman, and the bottom is their historical versions of mother. Um, besides this one right here, like you can see, you got the Gundam pose woman, Gundam pose mom. Uh, this one sneaks in there, but but this one right here, clearly sa same thing, just with dots. And this is also very similar, but with like a cross on top. There were just two dots added to differentiate this one. We can pull up my, oh no, I don't have my Mac. This is not my Mac. Never mind, I can't pull up. My kanji one. dictionary, the Kodokawa Shinjigen, states that these are to indicate a mother's breasts for feeding their child. But the Jap- Welcome to the Tokimi Senpuki Brad. Thank you for becoming Arigato a member. Gozaimasu. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. The Japanese Wiktionary I use for pulling up these screenshots says this is mistaken and they were only used for differentiating it. I'm not- Yeah, so what I'm saying here is so the one I get this, the uh, J.A. Wiktionary or whatever that I get these screenshots off of, um, it says that it's commonly noted that these are like considered mother's breasts. And, mm. and but then it says that that's a mistaken um, explanation. But then I look in my kanji dictionary and it says that is the case. So like, you know, do you trust Wiktionary or do you trust the dictionary? I imagine it's a matter of different academics disagreeing on it and nobody really knowing for sure what the truth is. That's that's the feeling I get. 
Brad, uh, Yuki's going to go ahead and work on your name, Hi. Brad, uh, in kanji. So thanks for becoming a member. She's going to be working on that on the side, the side while we go through this. Thank you. Shots says this is mistaken and they were only used for differentiating it. I'm not certain which is true, but now you know both. We're going to mm -hmm. use the kanji dictionary explanation, though, and say, even if you don't want to think about your mother this way, these are her breasts turned sideways. See, we got an otoko and onna there, <laughs> just to make it a little bit more uh, obvious. Um, yeah, I mean, this is how I learned it. Um, whether you think someone mentioned that there was some other video that I guess was not tasteful, I don't know. And they said this was somewhat more respectful. I don't know. Um, I think historically that this is accurate, so or possibly accurate. So I made I went with it. Uh, is what it is. It's like she's lying on her side. Remember mother as a woman, which should help you remember the different parts of this kanji. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead back. Remember to mother this. as a woman, which should help you remember the. Di yeah. So you'll notice that. So when we draw a woman, we'll pop over here. The parts are we've got the kunoichi, right? Ku and then it's no, and then ichi. Mm -hmm. This is basically the same, it's ku, but instead of no, sorry, can I get the eraser? Let's leave it here. It's a, you know, straight back ku, same ku, but then instead of no here, you've got the, it shouldn't be cutting through it, but we've got the, the flexed arm, because moms are strong. Going down there and then flexing through. And then you've got the two, dots that are apparently just differentiating it but you can think of as mother's breasts for feeding their children and then you've got the one cutting through it same as woman um considering the parts are the same obvious it's very obvious that these kanji were very closely related originally they may have actually been the same and then later on they added added the dots to differentiate but does anyone know this kanji yes uh, well i don't know the word uh but oh. manji is is the kanji for temples Yes. Mm. Oh, it's from bleach? 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 Yeah。あの、チーティングバージョン。うん。じゃ、まあ、それもいいんだけど、最初はちゃんとして書いてほしいかな。わかりました。Okay, so she basically wrote it like um like an L. So it may be it may be helpful to think of it more like an L. そう、じゃないとね、このね、四角の中にね、この点と点二つとさ、棒が入るじゃないですか。Right. You want to make sure you have the space. Mm. And obviously the bottom line is going to be a little bit shorter than the top line. Mm. So it's basic, basically a straight line almost. A little bit angled. And then you go straight here. Like this should be basically flat. Yeah, yeah. Of course it does it does cut through. But to make it look Yeah, that that's that's very good. Mm. But this works too. And then you sort of go straight on top and then cut back a little bit, curling up, da, da, straight through. That's pretty so, so. terrible, but but you get the idea, I imagine. So, so, so. It's important to remember to curl this part up. That's probably one of the more important parts, um, getting that curve. This is way too angled, obviously. You want it definitely more straighter. More straighter. More straighter. Something like that. I'm pretty bad at mom. I'm pretty bad at woman. That's really good. Let's have you draw it fast. Let's see what it looks like when she draws it, draws it fast. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> that looks a lot like a different kanji. <laughs> What's that other kanji? Not fune, but the, the part in fune. Wow. でも飛び出た方がいいんだよ。ここはここはね。ここは飛び出ないといけないんだけど。Those are important to stick out. Basically a straight line, okay. ちちです。そうだけど一応ね、ほらちゃんとさ、
ふにゃふにゃってしてるからさ、yeah. ここがね、一応空いてる風ですよ、空いてる風。Right. She, she, it's supposed to look a little bit at least like they're separated apart, but yeah, when drawing it fast, it's a.、Uh, they end up getting kind of stuck together like that, eh? だけど、あの、基本的にはこれで、これでいきますから、この。スケイさんの万歳。<笑>万回、万回かの。あ、いやいやいや、オッケーオッケー。こう、ちゅっちゅっていきますから。Well, that's a very nice one. That was, that was actually almost perfect. My teacher, community college, in an 80 is a 80 something year old woman, and she went on and on about nipples for mothers in her last class. I'm guessing at her age, she's pretty blunt about it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's. It's just like. It's how you break it down. That's kanji were pictographs, so it makes sense. New computer and can't figure out how to write in Japanese on it. Boo! Ah,、uh, you definitely need to install the IME, as someone mentioned. You can just go to, just search、uh, Japanese IME on Google and it will give you the Windows and Google versions. Either one is fine. I prefer the Google version on PC. On Mac, I just use the Mac one built in. Google, Japanese, Windows, IME. I think Tofu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Andy's slant. Slanty haha and then slantier haha. I can do that. I need to practice more. Yeah, it's very hard. Oh, I think I got it this time. Oh, yeah. That was a little better. I'm pretty bad at it. I, I should probably practice that one and woman a little bit more. But anyway. Yeah, it's okay.、うん、Thank you. Thank 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 you. We'll get you. Ha 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 Menu bar down on the bottom right to get it to pop up. I've struggled writing kanji for a while, but thanks to the tips in the live streams, my handwriting improves quick, quickly. Nice. Thank you so much for these videos and the, this discussion, but I have to go. My classmates meet every Wednesday to study. Mata raishu, mata raishu. Have a good one. Hi, kite kurete, arigato gozaimasu. Kite kurete, arigato gozaimasu. So type this one. Ha ha. Ah, you did it. Don't laugh at my jokes. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So, like, mama's spaghetti no yatsu janai. That's Eminem. All right, so popping back over to the video. Different parts of this kanji. Hi, Miss Linux. This next part is not an official radical, but it shows up in enough kanji to warrant learning on its own. I'm, I,、um, I've always been a Windows person, but ever since I got the MacBook, I,、uh, I almost never turn on my PC. For live streaming, I have to because I have four cameras. You know, four cameras one, two, three, four. Popped into the computer and a laptop, obviously, that's not going to be happening. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to call it No Lying Down. It's neither a kanji nor radical, so obviously, it does not have an official radical. But we can break、uh, it down into a no part. Quick, quick tip on that.、Uh, who is that that just said that? And meets fish. You can actually turn that off. I don't know what kind of phone you have, but、um, you can go into the keyboard settings on your phone and Turn that setting off so that I'll just pop this up over here so that you do not have to wait actually at all. So I'm gonna pop this up. Brad, you can still working on your name. So if you take a look at this, ha ha, there you go. I could hit it twice and it does not try to change it. So I believe there is a setting on iPhone. In the keyboards, I don't know about Android where it is, but I'm pretty sure it has the same type of setting. But if you go to general and then go to the keyboard,、uh, you can, I believe, auto correction, smart character preview, auto cap it, show, check spelling, enable cap blocks. There it is.、Uh, flick only, double tapping the space bar. I can't remember. It's somewhere in here. One, maybe it's one handed keyboard? No. Text replacement? No. Keyboards, Japanese kana, flick only. So I think if you turn on flick only, it 
turns off the ability to like hit the button twice to change the type of character. I think it's something like that. I can't remember exactly. Hmm. But whatever it is, I do I have it turned off so that usually, you know, you wait or you hit this to go to the next character. You can hit this button right here to go to the next character and then hit it again if you don't have it turned off. But you can turn that off so that you can just keep hitting it as many times as you want. Oh. Is that much easier? It's much easier. Hmm. Anyway, back over to the video. Hi. Steve's job mode indeed. Oops. Uh, hi. Yuki has finished Brad's name. I don't know if you're still here, but thank you so much for becoming a member. Brad. Yuki's going to go ahead and explain that to you. ちょっとね、あの、まずコンフェッションから行くと。コンフェッションか。そう、このはい。で、ブラッドの部は、えっと、武士の部です。そう、the で、だは良いという字でラと読みます。ラ Says the guy dressed like he's presenting a new iPhone. Yes, yes, yes. Apparently it is on Android though, so that's good. Very important setting to turn off because it's a pain in the neck to type Japanese without that off. On we go. And one. There are two strokes in no lying down. Following an order you're likely to expect. We draw the no radical part, starting at the top, and then the one from around the middle of the no. Please keep in mind that this part will usually appear above other kanji in the crown position. I could, uh, yeah. couldn't find any history on this part, but apparently it's often referred to as no ichi for convenience sake. So that works out well. Especially, this is actually, so this is actually the reason. referred to as no ichi for So uh, after the next kanji, which is, uh, what was the next kanji? Ich. Um, it's mentioned that this part is used as sort of like a hairpin over mother. Uh, historically, it was supposed to be a hairpin. And I considered changing this part to mean hairpin. But because of this fact specifically, that a bunch of different Japanese dictionaries and websites that talk about it uh, refer to this as noichi, I decided to keep the title that I had. Because the only thing I could find about it historically was the noichi thing. So the no lying down on one. Just keeping that, I decided, is fine. And if you'd like to think of it as like a no lying down and a one as a hairpin, that may be helpful for future stories. Convenience sake. So that works out well. Especially since our story or image is no lying down on a fluorescent worm. It's been a while since we saw those guys. Or has it? <laughs> Emmy's fish also unrelated. This is literally the only live I've ever participated in. I keep meaning to set up like a profile picture. It's not just... A boring and yeah. Well, I'm glad you've uh, you found it useful enough to hang out. Tsuyoi namai. Yes, indeed. No ichi your hairpin or it will mess up your hair. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Ah, so done. Yes, ne. Hi. That's kind of neat. Like another form of crown. Yeah, yeah, basically. That, that's a good point. And it is always, almost always in the crown position. So, sort of combining this with a uh, hairpin would probably be helpful. It may be a note worth adding to the update to the Anki deck eventually. By the way, did anyone catch this? Bedo janai kedo. I'm not a bed. And he's sleeping. Goo goo is um, in Japanese. In English, we have this z z z to indicate sleeping. I have no idea why. I've never heard someone say z, z while sleeping. Actually, I think I did see a person once that did that, but maybe they were just faking it. But in Japanese, to write z, z you'll see this in manga all the time when someone's sleeping. It's goo goo. So this is the same exact thing as this, but in Japanese. And one's, you can see his eyes there. I don't know if you can see it zoomed in, but he's getting a little, it's like, what the heck? Let's see if I can pull this up. Hold on. Uh, we're going to jump over to kanji. Nope, that's the wrong one. How to write kanji. 
Hold on. I want to show you this. YouTube kanji series N5 Himiya kanji stories. And there's no previews, of course, because why would there be? This is no ichi, ne? Right here. So let's pull this up. Zoom in on the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a little annoyed there. Bedo ja nai kedo. Oh, I like that. Sorry. Fluorescent worm. On we go. It's been a while since we saw those guys. Or has it? This is the... Robots buzz when they sleep. Oh, yeah. Good, good point. Good point. Uh, let's see. I'm not a bed. I'm not a bed. Yes. On that topic, do you have any recommendations for dictionaries where you can look up onomatopoeias? Ooh. I don't. There was a there was an onomatopoeia dictionary before, but it just had a list. But I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. But any dictionary should have them. So you yeah, so yeah. There was something I can't remember off the top of my head though. We have a kids book called. We have a kids book called Hyochan no Ichi Nichi, and half of the words are onomatopoeia. Yeah, a lot of kids books have a ton of them. Like um, actually, the Magic Treehouse series in Japanese has a ton of them. That was really hard for me when I was first learning because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know, like, and it was all mostly in hiragana, so figuring out where they started and ended was difficult back then too. First kanji we're going to learn with no lying down in it, but not the last. I promise I'll point it out for each kanji that it shows up in, which is exactly what this kanji means. Each, the official radical for each, is mother. Remember that the two dots in mother are a single line when it's a radical in other kanji. The two parts in each are no lying down and the mother radical. There are six strokes in each. We start with the no lying down in the crown position writing the no, and then the one connected to it. We follow this with the ku in mother and the flexing arm part. Simil you'll, notice that th you'll notice that this, this uh, the radical here, since it's right in the middle, is much wider. It's like cr smooshed together, mother almost, and widened out. Similar to the one in strength, making sure to bit. flex that hand in. Next, we draw the straight line down the middle in place of the two dots in mother and slice a one through the whole thing. Historically, this was apparently supposed to show mother with a hairpiece on. You can especially see it here or with a crown, but this definitely looks kind of like a hairpiece. This looks like a, I don't know, like a tsuru. What's a tsuru in English again? Tsuru is a crane. Crane, crane yeah. Maybe in her head. Which was her usual state of being, which is apparently another meaning for this kanji. You could think of mom having a special hairpiece for each and every day. Or you could use this weird story. Each no lies down on its mother each and every day. Another thing you'll notice from this one is, let's get this up here. Mom's mouth is now a no. We've got nose over here. It's all nose for some reason. <laughs> I think I may have drawn that as well. This guy's still annoying. Now they're both saying, Bedo ja nai kedo. And Noah's just sleeping nicely. They're both very comfortable, the one worm and the mom. Um, but anyway, yeah. You could definitely change this around and make this a hairpin made out of a no and a worm or something and that, that mom's always wearing. That would be a perfectly acceptable story. Cuddles with mama, never stop cuddling with your mama. There you go. That's good too. There is a really cute book, not a dictionary, for learners showing 50 onomatopoeia called Onomatopoeia Friends, written by another YouTube person. Learn Japanese with Tanaka-san. Very cute. Oh, nice. That's cool. Let us know in the comments which story you prefer, or tell us the one that you made up. All right, let's get back to Let us the know picture. in the comments which story you prefer, or... All right, I hope that was on screen. It was. All right, let's get back over here. So we're going to see how terribly I can draw this one. First, we'll have Yuki draw it. I'm Hi. sure hers will be nice. Hi. There's that noichi. All right, her, her her bottom part of this one is not much different in shape from mother. I always feel like in font, at least, it's much wider. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. um, but let's see how I do it. Extend it out here. I think that's how I end up usually writing it. A little bit wider, but yeah. Too, m way too long and curving down there, but that's because I have to like, stretch my arm out. And how would you write it fast, Yuki? <laughs> Here comes speed version. Oh, pretty much the same. It's not that, probably not that, that hard to uh, differentiate that one. やっぱりこのさ、縦にここのさ、四角のさ、レクタンゴがさ、このも、縦に、こういう風にここが長い方が、ライトね。オッケー。なんかいい感じがします。そう、ユキ<笑> De font is definitely um, wider, but I guess in handwriting it, it is a bit bit longer like that. Wow. So to to type this one, I would say um, two different ways. Uh, Seventy two Alsabi did one my, my. Although there's probably a bunch of other things that are going to show up first for that. It was fourth for me on that. The first one, the one that will show up guaranteed first every time, is Goto. Ah, なるほどね。常どうですか? Tsune. Tsune, isn't that? That's going to be this one. Oh. Tsune ni will show up first. Tsuteko No, it doesn't show up for a long time. Ah. Not at all, actually. So nanda. Jia da meka. Goto or goto. mai. Uh, I prefer goto, although mai is maybe a little mm -hmm. bit faster to type for some, some people. Ma i or goto. I don't know. I find because goto uses o twice, I don't find it to be any slower to type than mai. Uh, ma uh, e is three different keys. Go to is also three keys, so it's the same thing, and I just feel it flows easier for me. So go to is faster for me. My may be faster to type it for you. Whichever one you find faster will be the one you want to use on the quiz. Kaylee says both were fourth for her. Now they'll probably both be first for you. So either way is probably fine. All right. Oh, この日本語ネットという、あのウェブサイトに、オノマトペまとめというページがあって。Oh, interesting. So Yuki Yuki found a website called Nihongo Netto that has a automatopia uh, matome. So it's got a list of like all the automatopia you could imagine and there's links to descriptions of each one it looks like and they're divided out by by sound, by hiragana. Huge list. Yuki will go ahead and maybe share that. Maybe you can copy and paste the link into Discord or something. Copy, uh, command, command C. Command C. Command C. Yeah. And then you can open up Discord on there and then send it over to me. Just open. Oh, it's on your iPhone now? Okay. アンディに多分これでシェアすれば。これ今持ってんの。There's my Discord. あってる。あってる、あってる。オッケー。このオノマト。So I will pop this into chat. Of course it's not all of them, but it's a, a big list. So I will pop that in chat right now. Right there. There is a link to a bunch of automatopia. Keep in mind, of course, that these are going to probably be um, Japanese Japanese descriptions. So if you click on one, Icha Icha, for example. Oh, it has an English explanation as well. Oh, Sibarashi! So this is very cool. Okay. So this is a great website. So check it out. It's got pictures, it has an explanation in Japanese. So. Danjo ga, I can't actually read that. Nakamutsu majiku. Nakamutsu majiku. Harmonious, intimate. I've never heard that word before. Cool. It's got a frequency of. It's it's very rare. <laughs> uh, 
あ、たわむれあおようす。はい。たわむれあおあってる。あ、じゃれあおじゃれあおんだ。<笑>たわむれわお。間違っちゃってるよ。たわむれあおじゃない。じゃれあおってねえわ。じゃれあってんだわ、これ。じゃれあおを用する。じゃれあってました。Instead of men and women frolicking together in a friendly manner, each a each a. Oh, stop flirting. Then there's example sentences. Ah, あの二人、授業中なのに、イチャイチャするなよな。はい。はい。人前でイチャイチャするカップルをどう思いますかいや。はい、and then there's a bunch of other ones、mm. you can go and we'll just do.、Uh, I bet you Goo Goo is right here. Let's see. Goo Goo, no? Goo Goo, I don't know. Goo Goo. Ah, Goo Goo. Goo Goo, I don't know. Hi, Sleepy. Oh, and there's even a sound. Oh, it's the sound of a stomach. <laughs> and that's what it's based on. Nadu. <laughs> <laughs> The sound of a stomach growling with hunger. Very cool. Eh, Nerutoki no goo goo wa nai ne. Nai ne. Goo. Tashka ni nai. That's, that's, different. that's a different one. Goo goo. A nai. So it doesn't have everything. Goo goo ne. So these are ones you maybe would use in conversation more than the show up in manga or whatever. Well, then, but ah, I think suya it's suya all right. Suya suya. Suya suya. Ima. Um, suya suya na kata. Ora suya suya wa aru. Suya suya is also a sleeping sound. 静かに気持ちよさそうに眠いっている様子。それタイプだな、きっと眠っている。眠っている。<笑><笑>それ眠いって、そうだ、no either。眠っている様子。すやすや。それね、プリコサイ。Hope that answers your question. はい。あともう一つ。No. あ、はい、すいません。つねね、つね、この前のつねの読み方、うん、iPhone のディクショナリーはオートで出ます。Okay, so つね could also、はい、work for this as well. はい。あと、oh. 先週の。もしいらっしゃいましたら、先週のセニョルセネナさん、<笑>あの、一回分クレジットあります。あ、ユキセディア、セニョルセネナ has a credit from last week for, for something to write in kanji if there's anything you'd like to write. <笑>はい。はい。It has an app too. How cool. Nice. I know Sia Sia from the kids book we have. Perfect. All right. So that's a good website. It's the one that you made up. Which brings us to the next part, which is also a kanji. We're not going to go into detail on the kanji though until the next level. This part means katana. Its official radical is itself, though it's sometimes listed as a derivative of itself, which looks a lot like the katakana di. We'll be like. Just wanted to mention here. I struggled at times when I was creating this series on whether or not to just teach this kanji right here. The issue is, is that the vocabulary. I mean, the kanji is neither kanken ten or, or n5, and the vocabulary is neither kanken ten nor n5. So we wouldn't be teaching the vocabulary, any vocabulary for this word or anything. So it just made sense to pull it out as a part and cover it in a little less detail in the video and in the,、uh, in the Anki deck. So, I did decide to follow that route. We, I still wanted to teach the parts because it makes Future kanji that we're going to be learning in, this, in these sections much easier to, to do. But we won't be covering words for it. So that's the reason that I separate it out as a part like this.、Hmm. Okay. Learning this later as blade. I don't know why I'm talking about it now, though, as we're just learning this as a part.、Well, fair enough. Speaking fair enough, of which,、yeah. but, just, but just like in general, when I chose to not teach a word like a kanji, I took, that is a kanji, but taught it just as the radical. That's usually what it, my, my thought process was because the words are going to become a big part of this. It's only part, unless you want to pull out that flexing arm which keeps haunting me and throw a no underneath it. <laughs> yeah, there are two strokes、part. in katana. We first draw the flexing arm part, which I guess is just an unofficial part of the Toki Niandi mythology now, and finish it off with a no connecting to the arm. You could actually, instead of a no connecting arm, this could be the flexing arm holding a sword. Made out of a no. Armpit. <laughs> Historically, this hasn't changed much beyond its old bronze inscription, which was a little. That one looks really cool, and I feel like that actually、yeah. looks almost exactly like the,、uh, the Egyptian hieroglyphic. But it's, oh, Yuki's drawing it. Cool, j a n a i Yeah, that's cool. Oh, a little too thick, right? And you, the, the top is a bit more pointed. There you go, yeah. Cool. Super cool. Literal hieroglyphic of a knife. For our story, I went with a pictograph that looks more like what I think this actually looks like. It's a katana handle, 
Like the video. Yeah, I've never seen the sword thing. The handle, definitely. Not a katana, obviously, but still. If you agree that this looks more like the handle of a sword than the actual sword itself, because I have to remind you, according to the YouTube Bible. Just like the live stream, too. It really helps. Two kanji left, making this one half of the remaining two, or one segment, which is exactly what this kanji means. Segment. The official radical of segment is clearly katana, and we can break it down further into an eight and katana. Segment has four strokes, which should come as no surprise. We write eight. It's basically the full size eight up top there. Eight. As expected, starting on the left, and then write the second stroke on the right. This is in the crown position, but it's still basically a straight up eight hanging over the katana below it on both sides. We write the katana exactly as expected, with the flexing arm first and the no part second. Historically, this has sadly always been a knife cutting through an eight. I say sadly because for us, eight is horse legs. Which means for our story, yep, you got it. Her version is a little bit nicer. Which means for our st I basically cut the whole, like that, <laughs> the whole horse goes in half and that's how the legs get split off. Story. This one's just got like yep. part of it, but I guess the result is the same. Yep, you got it. The kanji for eight was created by a katana cutting through it and segmenting our horse in two. So. Hi. Many of you may recognize this kanji already from the word um, to understand or mm. to know. Um, I could have chosen understand for this, but I feel like segment uh, sort of encapsulates the meaning better because you can think of understanding of something as sort of breaking it down into its constituent parts and understanding all of those. So it still sort of has a meaning of like, breaking things down like that into parts and, and understanding them. But it's also used for, you know, splitting things up or dividing things up. So it's got a lot of usages like that. So I went with segment for this one. Mmm, horse segments is Brian mm. <laughs> yeah. One of the few animals I remember from 25 years ago. Ooh, that's a, yeah, that's a fun one to write. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see how we would write this one. Yuki's Hi. gonna start. Pull this over to the center a little more. Hi, okay. Hi. Full on eight. Oh really? It looks fine to me. It's like the sword symbol at the base of at the base of Fuji san. Whoa! My nose is really flaring out there. I guess it's okay. Yeah. まあ、katana自体がこのさ、力と同じでこの真ん中を通った方がかっこよく見えると思う。Okay, so she says putting it more towards the center it looks cooler than way out here on the end. So, if we think about it like that, maybe more here. Okay. Okay. Nice, good to know. Even I'm getting some nice kanji uh kanji lessons here. Or under a roof, house, etc. Yes, you could think of that. Um if you wanted to. The only issue with that is if you're using the the word um, roof for our other, we had like, well, this was a crown, but this one was a house roof. You may remember it's mm -hmm. one of the parts we used. And then this was a human roof, well, more like that, connected. Mm. So if you start thinking of eight as a roof as well, you may make the mistake of writing it like this, or you may make the mistake of writing it like this if you use that for your memorization. You probably won't because it looks quite different. As soon as you write that, you're gonna be like, wait a second, that's not quite right. Mm -mm. But just just trying to stick with one meaning when you're learning to write kanji like this is going to be helpful um, for remembering how to write it. In the mm -hmm. future, if you think it looks like that and that's easier for you, that's fine as well. But. Mm. Ato. あの、将来的に多分似てる感じが出てきちゃうよね。In the future there's going to be kanji popping up a lot that look very similar. そうそう。この上が、上が何かがあって、このこうこういう形はこの一つの感じってことね、これが。これが。いや。がある。Yeah, there's other kanji with different crowns. そうそう。So it's it's important to sort of want you want to try and keep in mind like the actual mm. part because it's going to throw you off later. Um, so how would you write that quickly, Yuki? Hi. 
Yeah, basically the same. Although the the no is really long there. Interesting. <laughs> like that almost, but I forgot to curve it in. That's my super yeah. fast one. So many. Mm-hmm. So it's, many it's, it's easy enough to read. Yeah. Although it's interesting that your no does move sort of out towards the left quite a bit when you're writing it fast. Alright, so to write this or to type this one for the quiz, the there's a couple ways you could type it. Yep, you could use it for Hi. segments of hours, which are minutes, fun or boom. Fun or boom or poon. Either way. Poon. I think poon did comes up. Poon yep, poon is the first for me. Boon is also the first. Poo. Any of those will be fine, whichever you find easier to type. For me, it would be foo, I think. Foo is the easiest for me to type, although poo is also quite easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wakaru also works, but then you have to delete three ah. s- two strokes, so I wouldn't worry about that. So just do fun, boon, or poon. In fact, let's just erase that, because mm-hmm. then, it, then it looks like we're teaching on and kun, which we are not. Aye. Just how to type it for the quiz. Don't worry about these readings too much just yet. Mm-mm. All right, so popping back over to the video. Hurry up and subscribe so we can save the horse. Don't ask me how it helps, it just does. No, it doesn't. Now, we've come to the final kanji in this video. It means now. See what I did there? Am I being annoying yet? Technically, the official radical of now is person, but it's clearly in the crown position, which means that it's really a human roof. That's why the parts we'll be dividing it into are human roof, one, and foo part. I I could have made this radical human roof if I wanted to, I suppose. But but technically, if you look in a dictionary, um, I believe it will pop up as... Let's go ahead and see. I'll judge myself live. We'll pop it over to here. Pull up my dictionary. I'm going to pull out the kanji dictionary right here. And we are going to search... Uh, hito. Uh, not hito. <laughs> um, ima. There's ima. And... It's going to tell us that over here, the official radical, you can see right there, the number is person. You can see right below the actual kanji highlighted in red or gray. The radical is below that with the number two or three next to it on the left. And it's person, not person's roof. Mm -hmm. So I stuck with that as the official radical and just made human roof the part. I mean, clearly it's human roof, which is considered a, r- a radical or a part but often when human roof is the crown the, the quote official radical is listed as person so just keep that in mind Not there are deal, four but. strokes in now we start with the two strokes of human roof crowning the kanji next we draw a single straight line or one part just below the roof well actually almost inside the roof part actually we then draw the foo part directly below the one Historically, my kanji dictionary says that this is supposed to be the tongue of a bell hanging out of the bottom. You could imagine the bell ringing, signifying that now is the time, if you wanted. Of course, I personally see a bunch of A's, as in Andy. Uh, keep in mind, so this is very anecdotal, but when I first learned this kanji, I believe it was through remembering the kanji, and I think that's the story that he used, a uh, bell. And I don't know. it. It never worked for me. Like, I had to relearn this kanji like five times, even though it's super simple. Just because I used the bell story, it just, it didn't work for me. So, it might not work for you. It might, it might work for you. Uh, So, that's one thing to keep in mind. Who is talking to you right now? Then there are these two characters from the mirror realm and whatever the heck this is. The real story where you... That was the best no that Enemy the Fish has ever seen, apparently. Yuki's a calligraphy one. Using for this, though, is... It could be an A for Alien. Yes, it could. Yes, it could. Now, on the 5 o'clock news, we see a TV screen on it. The Andosan roof with a fluorescent worm light illuminates Fu laughing below it. Fu is always laughing. 
now and always because foo lives in the now i'm sure you can come up with a better story for this one but that's the story that we use so popping hi. over to the drawing board we're gonna have yuki draw this one first hi hmm very nice she's good at that Come on. so i i think i always used to write it like down below here and that like looks like crap so when I really Your started e looking into here, <laughs> putting this inside of there, it looks quite nice. So you get the get the top there, and then that one goes up inside of the human roof, and then Foo is below it. There we go. Ano, naka kono sa kanji ni yo da ano hito ni yotte kamoshi nai desu kedo kono saigo no Foo wo kou yatte harau hito to Mm. Okay. Both are okay, she says. So there's some people that will write this where they hara, which is sort of they, they swish out to the left. And there's some people who stop right there. And both are okay, apparently. So you might see someone that just stops like that. And there might be someone that goes woo like that. And both are apparently okay. It looks like if we look at the video that the the stroke diagram that I use is stopping, not harao. But both are apparently okay. How would you write that super fast, Yuki? Hi. Kono ne hayaku kakuto. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Font ni sugoi niteru ki ga suru kono well it depends on the font so uh, we have chat open in two places I have it up on my teleprompter up here and that has the YouTube font so what you guys are seeing is the straight line for the one but what we can see over in my OBS my streaming software is a dot on top so you will notice that a lot of people I agree I've almost always seen this one written like that mm. with a dot instead of a one and that is also okay it does not need to be a perfect one like that. It is almost always written like that, mm. I've seen. So, I, I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's just easier. But if we go back to the history, maybe we can see. <laughs> if you look at the history, that doesn't give us any explanation. But, hmm? It does look kind of like an ooh, yeah, like an ooh inside of there. Very, very similar. To an ooh, actually. It's a good point. But anyway, that is how you're often going to be seeing it be seeing it written. Hi. Some uh, Amanda actually said it looks like an ooh under a roof. Oh. <laughs> Someone else said that too. Okay. So before you even said it, people are catching that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to write a manga where aliens come down to ancient China and taught them how to write with their alien symbology writing system. I think that's gonna be a that's gonna be a winner. Just throw throw me a credit in the back. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like it went from da to u. Indeed, mm. indeed. Yeah, you could actually, yeah. Very much like a da. Like ne. that. That's very much da. Katakana, ne? Mm, mm, and mm. then suddenly u. <laughs> so yeah, when written fast, it's often going to be that. Senor Serena, member for two months. Thank you so Hi. much. What Arigato the? YouTube gives out free messages. It does indeed. If For any of you who are members, there's a bunch of you. A lot of you. You most likely have a free, like, highlighted message. message. Mm -hmm. It's not, well, not free because you're a member. But every month, I believe, you're given a new message that tells uh, everyone how long you've been a member for. Yeah, super cool. Uh -huh. Yuki was saying earlier, Senor Serena, that you have a credit from last week for Hi. anything you'd like her to write. So she's got she's got the board ready for you over uh -huh. there. <laughs> I want to buy that manga, says b Brad. Roof, you're you now, now, indeed. All right, so to type this one, Hi. to type this one, what yeah. you're going to want to do is most likely ima, as Yuki has written right there, ima. Kon wa do kana? Kon is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11th. Ah. So definitely ima is going to be the fastest, I think. Special thanks to Giorgio and Toki, me, Andy. <laughs> nice. There you go. Definitely go with ima. But kon may work as well for mm -mm. you for typing it. Remember, we're not teaching the readings here. We're just teaching you how to type it quick because you're going to need that for the quiz, which is starting right now.
Which brings us to the Lesson 10 quiz. In this section of the video, I'll show you a flashcard with the English meaning for a kanji. Pause the video when we show each card and try to remember how to write that kanji. Next, write it on your hand with your finger or on a piece of paper. Then press play and see if you were right. The best way to remember kanji you just learned is to search your memory for the story we taught you or the one you made based on the English word on the flashcard. Our All right, before we start, these are going to be mixed up. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hi. <laughs> で、今日っていうその今と日って書くんですけど、それあの2つの漢字じゃないと今日って Right. Right. Uh she's pointing out that um kyo, for example is not a, is not a reading of this kanji. The combined kanji ima and sun becomes or day becomes the word kyo. Uh, so there's no other word in existence where ima will be read in that way. Mm -hmm. um, it's the combination of now and sun that gives you kyo. That's why I personally recommend never worrying about readings of indi individual kanji. Just one of the reasons. Uh, just learning words because you never know. Is it just me or does ima also suggest your current local time? It can, depending on the keyboard. Absolutely. Let's see. Ima, one, two, three, four. Oh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth ones give me different readings of the time right now. Oh. It is exactly Gogo Deji Ippum. Learn the vocabulary. Yes, yes, indeed. I still can't get the Hiragana Katakana Kanji to work, so I have to use Romaji. Oh no! You have to work on that after the stream, I guess. But, you guys ready? Hi! Here we go! Our first card is Segment. Segment. Right. Let's see who's going to get this one first. Oh! Every day Dashi is first, so that meets the fish in second. 72 Alsabi in third. Robert Bunn, welcome to the stream in fourth. Pollux in fifth. Colton, welcome to the stream in sixth. Five Toes Sloth Bear in seventh. Grammy in eighth. Not a Vampire in ninth. Amanda Nordstrom, that is correct if your kanji was working in tenth. Kaylee in eleventh. Stargumi in twelfth. Misa Estudiando in, I believe, twelfth or thirteenth. Welcome to the stream as well. Bungara. Wakara. Wakara nai. <laughs> Vibrat in, I believe, 14th there with Marcus in 15th. Ah, shoot. I didn't backspace. Wakara nai. <laughs> close, close, close. All right. Very good. The answer was... Segment. All right. Very good. The kanji for eight was created by a katana cutting through it and segmenting our horse in two. All right, moving over to the today's random kanji. Hi. Yuki will go ahead and pick the first one for us Hi. today. Gimaseyo. Let's see what it's going to be. Let's zoom for this. Here we go. Ready? Hi. Fire. Fire is the first random kanji for today. Let's see who can get that one first. We've got... B -b -b <laughs> Robert Ben in first, Pollux in second, Everyday Dashi in third, 72 Alsabi back in fourth, and meets the fish in fifth, Amanda Nordstrom in sixth, Koi King Hime in seventh, Five Toes Sloth Bear in eighth. Oh, 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 I'm running out of space here. Philip in, I believe, eighth. Was that? Was that eighth? I gotta count again. Hold on, we've got. We gotta get over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth for Philip Kalian. Tenth, Grammy in eleventh, the Nut of Empire in twelfth, the Marcus. Andrade in Andrade in 13th? 12th? Yep, 12th. And Stargumi in 13th, Bibret in 14th, and Misa Estudiando in. I forgot the number again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16th. All right, 16 people participating today. Thank you so much. Hearts in chat. Boom, 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 boom. I typed con. It slowed me down. All right, so that was that one. Moving back over to the video, our next Next is each. 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 They're random again today. Robert Ben in first, then meets the fish in second, 72 Alsabi in third, Everyday Dashi in fourth, Pollux in fifth, Not a Vampire in sixth, Margo Coleman in seventh, Colton in eighth, Kaylee in ninth, Koi King Hime in tenth, Marcus in 
11th. Stargumi in 12th. Bibret in 13th. Five Dose Love Bear in 14th. My Will Work, Amanda. Yes, that works for 15th. Very good job. Okay, the answer is. My Nichi, says every day. My Nichi Dashi. Each no lies down on its mother each and every day, or hairpins for each and every day, mom. What about Kaku? What about it? All right. The next random one we're going to have today is... I'll pick this one. Hi. Oh. This is from a week or two ago. It is... Man, man, man is the next kanji. Let's see who gets that one first. We've got. Whoa, hi, hi. 72 hours of being first. Robert Bond in second. Emmy Sufficient in third. Pollux in fourth. Kaylee in fifth. Amanda in. Ah, uh, not quite. Koi King Hime in sixth. Everyday Dashi in seventh. Stargumi in eighth. Philip in ninth. Senor Serena in tenth. Chupi Chupi in eleventh. Five Toes Love Bear in twelfth. Mario Coleman in thirteenth. Colton. Stone in 14th, Bibret in 16th, uh, 15th, Marcus Andrade in 16th, and Senor Serena throws out a Furusato Sato Old Town, trying to throw me off on the little screen over there, but not quite, not quite. I was able to catch that one. <laughs> I, keep thinking, I keep thinking of the Finnish word for man. It's not helping. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Sometimes other words in other languages can help you remember things, but... <laughs> Not every time. All right, moving back to the next one Hi. in the video, we've got just a few more. Here's Father. Father. Pause that video. Let's see who's first. We've got Emmy Sufficient first, Ooh. Everyday Dashi in second, Robert Bound in third. And who's going to be next? Who's going to be next? Pollux in fourth, Koi King Hime in fifth, Five Hills Bear in sixth, Amanda in seventh, Chumpy Chumpy in eighth, Margot Coleman in ninth, Senor Serena in tenth, Colton in eleventh. Philip in 12th, Marcus in 13th, Kaylee in 14th, Stargumi in 15th, Bibrat in 16th. Very good job. Lots of people participating today. All right. Very fast, too. Ne Super fast. Like, I've got the stream latency set to low, but it's not ultra low, but it feels like it's ultra low because I finished saying it and there's like a few, there's like a second or two. A second or two. Pretty amazing. Misa estudiando. Hits the 17th place. Very good job. Make sure you hit that live button. There should be a little live down at the bottom of the screen, like in the bottom of the video. If you hit that, it'll bring you as close as you can possibly get to live. Father was right there. Eight out of 10 fathers would like grass clippers for Father's Day. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. I have missed so many live streams, but I'm here and happy. Welcome to the stream, Lady we Phoenix 22. Size, Thanks for stopping by. I'm happy you're here, too. All right, Yuki is going to be picking our next random kanji for today. It is. Yuki hasn't looked either. It might show up upside down. It did not. Friend, friend is our new kanji. That's also from last week. All right, pulling up a lot of a lot of newish ones. Robert is in first with Enmeets the Fish in second, Pollux in third, Seventy Two Asabi in fourth, Stargumi in fifth, Everyday Dashi in sixth, Amanda in. Uh, my seventh, that'll work, yeah. Chupi Chupi in eighth, Kaylee in ninth. Marcus Andrade gets the full Tomodachi in tenth. Not a Vampire mm -hmm. is in eleventh. Senor Serena in twelfth. Five Toes Love Bear in thirteenth. Colton in fourteenth. Margaret Coleman in fifteenth. And Bree Brat in sixteenth. All right. You guys got it. Hi. Very good. Suwarashi. That is correct. Boom. Hi. Hopping back over to the video. Let's see what our next one is for here. Do, 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 do. That is right, Lady Phoenix. You got it. Wrong time to take a sip of my latte. That happens to me all the time. He's actually booty. Says German in Japan. How's it going? Long time no see. German in Japan. She actually teaches German in Japanese mm -hmm. on YouTube. I actually did a video with her many, many years ago. Maybe two videos. One or two on her channel. One or two on my channel. Uh, so if you ever want to learn German through Japanese, which you've already learned, Check out German in Japan. Ima Hokkaido. Yidesne. Hai, doshitan desu ka? Yushu no imi o. Yushu, ne. Yushu means. Let's go ahead and pop that. I gotta remember. Great da to o desu ke da. Yushu. Yushu. Is this kanji? Yushu. 
It means really good at something or like um, excellent. Mm. You could think of someone who is a really good student. Really good student. You could use you shoe or something like that. Or just really good at something. Lots of snow is falling in here. I believe it. I believe it. You're teaching German up there. That's awesome. Cool. All right. So that was father. Right. And we've got, I believe, let's see what our next kanji is. Okay. No, next, we're moving on to the next kanji in the video right here. And then there's now. Now. Now on the five o'clock news, we've got Enemy Sufficient in first, Robert in second, Sargumi in third, 72 Alsabi in fourth, and uh, Misa Estudiando in fifth, Pollux in sixth. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Koi King Himi in seventh, Chumpy Chumpy in eighth, Everyday Dashi in ninth, Not a Vampire in tenth, Margaret Coleman in eleventh, Philip in twelfth, Amanda in thirteenth, Marcus in. Oh, that is correct, but you gotta get the kanji up there. Five Dose Love Bear in, uh, I think, fourteenth now, Kaylee in fifteenth. Colton in 16th, Marcus in 17th, Vibra in 18th, and Lady Phoenix in 19th. Do we have a lot more people participating all of a sudden? Amazing. Right. Amazing. Marcus, that, that is the correct reading, though. You just have to hit the space bar and enter again. All <laughs> good. Yushu na hito ga oi desu. Now on the 5 o'clock news. Watashi ga yushu desu te yuteru kedo kotae wa shinai na ne. Watashi ga yushu desu te yuteru kotae shinai, says Yuki. <laughs> Very good. Hi. All right, so now in the public yes, news, we see a TV screen, and on it, the undosan roof of the fluorescent worm illuminates Fu laughing below it. Fu is always laughing now and always because Fu lives in the now. We got to get Andy fast talking, trading like an auctioneer. I'm getting close, right? I could, I could definitely, it could get really fun if I actually did. I, I should look up some videos on how to talk like really fast. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's hard enough to remember like which number I've said in order while also trying to read names off this small screen here. Um, especially if it's new names. Like, if, if you've already answered, fi that's fine. I usually have that fine. But if it's like a, a new person pops in, into the into the chat, which is awesome. I love it. But I have to I have to actually read the name then. And then I'm just, I'm all lost. I don't know what number I'm at. I mm -hmm. talk, talking, and then topping on top of that, like trying to talk auctioneer fast. Oh my goodness. That'd be wild. Anyway. That was correct. Let's go ahead. I guess uh, I'm going to pull out the next random one. Let's right. see what we got for today. The next random kanji is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. I don't know what this one is. Ooh, okay. Oh. The next one is... Foot. Foot or leg. Either way. That is our next kanji. We're going to be using a different kanji for leg, though. Robert is in first with Enmeet Sufficient, second Sargumi in third, Pollux in fourth, Koi King Hime in fifth, Everyday Dashi in sixth, Kaylee in seventh, mm -hmm. Chupi Chupi in... Oh my goodness, I've lost the plot. There's only a few few names fit up here. Uh, one, two, Jeez, three, four, sure. five, six, seven. Chupi Chupi in eighth, Senor Serena in ninth, Al Sa Al 72 Al Sabi in tenth, Amanda Nordstrom in... Uh, not quite. Five Toad Sloth Bear in 11th, I believe. Philip in 12th. Colton in 13th. Bibrat in 14th. Philip, ne? Uh, Bibrat in. Now I've lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. 14th. Lady Phoenix in 15th. Margaret Coleman in 16th. Zia, welcome to the stream in 17th. Kutsu wa. So, so. Kutsu is uh, shoes. Kutsu shita is socks. So you're getting closer to the foot, mm -mm. but the foot itself is ashi. Ashi gets you there. Hana F, welcome to the live stream. You Hi. get 18th place with that kanji right there. Very good job. All right, popping back to the video. Let's see what's up next. Finally, we have mother. Mother. Hayai. Hayai. Robert yeah. in first. 72 Alsabi in second. Enemy Sufficient in third. Everyday Dashi in fourth. Stargumi in fifth. Pollux in sixth. Andre Andreas, that is correct, in seventh. Amanda Normstrom. Oh, you got the kanji there. In eighth. Kaylee in ninth. Koi King Hime in tenth. Chumpy Chumpy in eleventh. Hana in twelfth. Twelfth. Five Dose Sloth Bear in thirteenth. Colton in fourteenth. Grammy in 15th. That's my grandmother there, guys. Margot Coleman and Bibrat in 15th, 16th. Ladies, Lady Phoenix in 17th. Marcus in 18th. And Senor Serena tries to sneak by with a day. <laughs> but no matter how small it is, fortunately, I see that little flexing arm sticking out. <laughs> 
from below there. mother, so it's very easy to catch. Process of elimination already had it ready to enter. Good. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Fair enough. Good memory that you remembered which game first already. Uh, what did er, I remember? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yuki's going to bring up one more uh, random kanji for today. Learning Korean all day and then trying to remember Japanese kanji is not going well for me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we'll find out. The answer is... Stop! Stop, drop, and roll. But just stop is the kanji. Stop. M meets the fish gets there first with Everyday Dashi in second. Chupi Chupi in third. Hana in fourth. Senor Serena in fifth. Wait, yeah. One, two, three, four. Fifth, not a vampire in sixth. Pollux in seventh. Colton in eighth. Zia in ninth. Five Toads Loft Bear in tenth. Some Korean from Lady Phoenix in, well, well, Margaret. <laughs> Grammy is in eleventh. Senor Sutton in twelve. Oh, no, no, no. That's correct, but it's not stop. Koi King Hime in thirteenth. Yamete <laughs> says Kukin in fifteenth. <laughs> Yame would probably get that for you for Amanda in 16th, I believe. Vibrat in 17th. Kelly in 18th. Stargumi in 19th. Kankokugo. That is correct. Kankokugo mm. is Korean. Let's get you Kankokugo in Japanese. Kankokugo. Boom. There's how you write that. Had to type Yameru. Yeah, that works. Um, yame or Tomeru. Mm. Tomaru. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember how you could get this without actually typing a word with okurigana. Uh, I guess tome. Nope, you still get okurigana. You have to get rid of the me. Uh, would she get you there? Yeah, she didn't really work. Yeah, that, one t that one's a little bit difficult. I forgot the Japanese word. The Korean phrase came up first. Fair enough. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and let the video play out. Hi. Oh, I forgot to pop this up before. Sorry. Let us know how many you got right down, down in, the, in comments. the comments. You can learn the next five kanji by clicking here. If the video is already out. It's if not. you don't want to wait, you can continue learning with our level one kanji flashcard deck for Anki on tokeniandy.com. We're also releasing kanji videos early for all the members there, so check, check it, it out, out if you, you want a head start. start. Unfortunately, that is a lie right now. Uh, Lesson 11 is not out. I'm way uh, behind. Yeah. Lots going on, but we will be getting ahead soon. Uh, I'm working on that video today Hi. tomorrow. Anyway, oh, I actually got the these things to pop up this time. That's nice. All right, that is the end of the quiz, unless... Yuki really wants... I think Yuki really likes the quiz. I think she wants to do another <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, quiz -wari. She looks all disappointed over there. Oh, we can do one more. It's fine. Yep. Yay. All right. So Yuki wants to do one more for the first 200 kanji. It's Kodanshi kanji learner's course to memorize the meanings with the mnemonics. But then I just started learning kanji vocabulary because the mnemonics got harder to remember. Fair enough. A lot of people do that. Um, that's what I'm going to recommend after we do... We're going to do the first probably up to N3 in this manner. And then we're just going to be doing words in context. Anyway. Hi. Uh, Yuki wants to do one more quiz question. So let's see what she pulls out. Hi. Ikimasu Hi. Gold. Gold oh, is oh, our oh. last random word for today. Let's see who gets the gold medal. It's going to be oh. 72 Alsabi with gold. And meets the fish with silver. Star Gumi with bronze. Pollux with a participation trophy in fourth. Chumpy Chumpy in fifth. Oh my goodness. Koi King in sixth. Amanda in seventh. Robert in eighth. Kaylee in ninth. Everyday Dashi in tenth. Uh, Lamy the Clown in eleventh. Zia in twelfth. Bibrat in thirteenth. Kukin in fourteenth. Senor Serena in fifteenth. Excuse me. Five Toad Sloth Bear in sixteenth. Hana in seventeenth. Grammy in eighteenth. Colton in nineteenth. Philip. Philip in 20th, not a vampire in 21st, and Yaoi Banana in 22nd. Wow, lots more people here. Yeah, Senor Sedena throws in a let's meet. Marcus <laughs> is in, what is this, 23rd. Wow. Ooh. Lady Phoenix in 24th. Mo, hayasugi nai? I agree. Ne. Monty, welcome to this stream in 24th. Hi. Welcome to the stream as well, Yaoi Banana. That is the most people that have ever participated in a quiz question. 24 of you. Thank you so much. Oh, I missed 22nd place. Ah, ah, so close. You almost got there. You just won. One away. So many today. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I was just talking about the...
Kanye no ah uh, uh, <laughs> from Pokemon earlier today. Oh, interesting. Nice. Yeah. It's too bad Tama didn't also show up in the quiz, but yeah. Speaking of which, I've been playing Pokemon lately. Mm. Yeah, actually, I have it open at all times, so I can just jump in and start training. <laughs> I just have it open all day, every day, and I love the DS because you can just slip it shut and then pop it open whenever you want to play a little bit more. I've been playing White Pokemon White. I might get Yuki Pokemon Black so that we can trade stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually her old Pokemon White. Of course, not really hers because I uh, I jailbroke my DSi and I just have all of my games from back in the background on there, so I can play any of them at any time. Mm -hmm. That's all DS games. And 3DS games. <laughs> Probably a few too many. Yuki san, kanji ga arimasu. Watashi wa osoi desu ka? Ii desu yo, zenzen. Ii desu yo, sokunai desu yo. Hai. Maybe the community quiz is direct. Maybe. I hope we get the black and white remix. Oh my goodness, that would be really fun. I would definitely buy those. Um, I'm really enjoying white right now. It's fun. A hug from Brazil. Thank you guys for helping me learn Arigato Japanese and improve my English. You're very welcome, Marcus. Thank you for coming to hang out. Black 2 and white 2 are better because you get gifted two shiny dragons. Ooh, nice. I have Ven as well. After I finish white, I have black 2, which I'll be playing. Thanks for the stream. Got to sleep now. It's 4 a.m. A bit oh. hard to watch from Europe. Oh, my goodness. So early. Yeah, sorry about that. I wish I wish we could do a time that was perfect for everyone, fortunately. Thank you for hanging out. Good job on the quiz. Well, our old streams used to be good for Europe time. The the Genki streams were Sunday night at like 9.30 p.m. So it was really good for Europe, really difficult for us because they'd go to like 12 a.m. Um, and now the time is really good for us. And it's not ter It's pretty decent for East Coast America. Uh, thank you, Brad. Appreciate that. Watashi no e no namae wa... Sumiko. Oh. Kanji wo kaite kudasai. Wakarimashita. Kawaii jan. That will be next right after Senor Serena. Senor Serena asks, can you do my friend? Hi. Jana is her name. It's pronounced like Yana. Ah, Yana ne. Yana ne. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi. What? Is that confirmed? Legend Arceus was so good. I was hoping they'd do another Legends game. Oh my goodness. I, I need to play more of Arce Arceus Legends. I've got that. I played the first like three or four hours. It was super fun. What, what was the thing that they said? Uh, I want to see what it is. 72 Al Sabi. 100% we are getting a Legends set in Unova next. Oh my goodness. That'd be awesome. 9.22 p.m. here in the middle of Canada. Oh, that's not a terrible time. A little bit late, but I've always wanted to join, but only caught you live now. Hi, Shin. Arigato gozaimasu. Kochira koso. Arigato gozaimasu, Zia-san. Thanks for participating in the quiz. Very Arigato good job. DC here. Yeah, where are y'all watching from? I know you guys are all over the world. So Yuki right now is working on Sumiko, and then she's going to be working on Yana-san next. Ah, Sumiko Yana wa saki ka. Yana is saki. Yana saki then Sumiko. I'm two hours from you. Woo. DC here. Not confirmed, but all signs point to it. The missing Pokemon from the current versions on the Switch and the current DLC for SV take place in Unova. Oh, nice. Interesting. I haven't gotten to the end of the one on DS yet. I've got it, you know, it's right here, right next to me. I should play it more. But, um, oh, right here, right now I have open a game I picked up recently I thought might be good. It's, um, oops. Oi. Open. Uh, Zenitendo. I thought that might be a good game for learners, and I, so I bought it to check it out. But it's basically just reading a book. So, um, not as much voice acting as I was hoping. Hi. Hi. So, Yuki has Yana-san finished already, so let's go ahead and pop so, this one up. Hi. Okay, so let's see what we've got for Yana-san. Arigato gozaimasu, it's more Senor Serena. Hey, let's put this in the middle, please. Mm. Yana is correct. So right Hi. about there. Hi. So Yuki's going to break those down Hi. for you. Yana. So Yana. Ya the Yuji. Kono Ya wa Yo to yomu desu kido. Taiyo no Yo. Hi. So this one, it can be read as Ya and it can mm. be used for the word Taiyo, which means the sun. So shining like the sun. Hi. Hi. 
でこのなは菜の花のなっていう。ああ、いや、グリーンのあのなっぱのな。Yeah, there is a, there's a flower called a nanohana. I'm not going to say the word in English、Canola、because it's kind of weird. Yeah, canola is one of them. Yeah, <laughs> that is another word for it.、Um, so, like, green no, I know, 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 You, you'll often see like、uh, mazes made out of nanohana fields and things like that.、ね、which are really cool. So it's a sunny field of nanohana, as、うん、you could think of this name. Yana.、まあね、the flower, yeah, of these flowers. Not the oil, <laughs> yes, it's the flowers. <laughs> yeah, that was fast. Yana sounds sort of like a, a name you could have in Japanese, so it's kind of maybe easier to write, to write a name for. Sumiko also sounds like a Japanese、ね、name.、So. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。よかったです。じゃあ、すみこに移りたいと思います。Right. So、on すみこ now as I talk to you guys over here.、Uh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss?、Uh, I'm already looking forward to the Cherry Blossom Fest. Yes, indeed. I'm looking forward to spring as well. I'm in the upper western corner of Massachusetts as N meets the fish, right near Vermont and New York State, but grew up in New Jersey. Nice, just like me. So many East Coast people. Yeah, yeah. 1025 here in New Jersey. It's 9 23 p.m. for me in Texas. Nice. I'm already looking. I read that. Okay. We used to live in College Station, Denton, and Ponder. Nice. Oh, is that where the new DLC is going to be? I haven't looked up news for the Indigo Disc stuff yet. Your hunches and those clues would make sense. Fingers crossed. We'll see. I hope they put a little bit of effort into the open world, making it stable in the next one, if it's open world. I'm in West Michigan, so it's about 10 30 p.m. here. Nice. Canola. Canola, yeah, but, but the flower. I don't think the flower is called canola, but maybe it is. Also, the paradox Pokemon relate to black and white having a future city and an ancient city. Interesting. I haven't played through the story yet, so I don't know what's going on just yet. I'm only 10 hours into white in Japanese, so it's a little bit slower to play. Although, probably not. I looked at Yuki's save from years ago when she played for it, and I've.、Um, I'm past where she was and only nine hours in compared to her 11, so I guess I'm not too much slower. It's not that hard to read, to read Pokemon stuff. The reason I'm playing white and black is because it's the first Pokemon game that has kanji as an option. You can read kanji. There's no furigana, though. I wasn't sure if kaite kudasai or kakimasen ka was better. It's Is one more appropriate here.、Uh, kaite kudasai is a, is a straight up request. Just please do this. Whereas kakimasen ka is sort of a, it's an invitation or a suggestion to do something. In this case, I think kaite kudasai is more appropriate because you're asking for something to be done. Whereas kakimasen ka is like, hey, w- would you want to do this? Which is, you know, it'd be fine as well. It'd be fine as well. But I think kudasai is fine right here. Fuyu ga daiski, says Senor Serena. I, I, like, I don't mind winter. I like snowboarding and stuff. Any chance you'll discuss intonation, pitch accent, et cetera, says Amanda. Actually, interesting news.、Uh, I am currently studying pitch accent myself. That's what I've been working on lately. And re- remember how I said we're, we've sort of turned into a company, so we have to switch some stuff up on the website? Well, one of the bonuses for people who rejoin when we sort of relaunch the website, not relaunch, but when we relaunch the.、Uh, Not relaunch, how should I put it? Who rejoin after their membership has ended will be that there is going to be a new pronunciation course, a mini, mini course, just sort of an introduction. And the final video in that course, it's a four video mini course, is about pitch accent. So I have a video already filmed. My friend is editing it right now、uh, about pitch accent, yes. And I'm going to be studying, I am studying it a lot right now. So eventually, I'm sure I'll pop something on YouTube as well. I found so interesting, interesting about the,、uh, the switch running bad with Pokemon. Yuki has the、Hi. cartridge and I have the digital version. And the cartridge one runs way better on her switch than the digital version does on mine. Almost like it's so different that I almost want to buy the cartridge just because of how much better it is. Okay, popping down a bit. I'm way behind. Uh, on chat, but let's go ahead and pop over to Sumiko san. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Sumiko san. Sumiko san. I don't know. I didn't actually. I don't know. 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 I don't
Neko no name. Neko no name. Hey, hey, okay. So this is your cat's name, Sumiko san? Hi. Sumiko wa sumu ti yuji ga kono kiyoraka de nani mo nai. Ah, pure. It's like to purify or to be pure is the first kanji here. Ato clear to ka clarify to ka. Clarify, yes. で、こうはちょっと考えたんですけど、こう子供の子が嫌だったからね。<笑>ごめんね。こう used to be the she didn't want to use the one for child. It used to be popular like 30 years ago,、うん、not so much now.、うん、so she wanted to use something different, and this one is. これはえっ、ー、と恋の恋、こうです。So this is the one for love or romantic love, actually,、うん、in general, general. But often using、uh, girls' names like this. So、うん、Sumiko. Clear love. <laughs> Very cute. No, it's fine. It's fine. Well, we'll find out. Good morning. I can't read、uh, Thai, but I, I think that's Thai. Is it Thai? Let me know. Might not be Thai. I'm not sure. I think it's Thai. Good morning. Uh, Andy, off topic, but thank you so much for doing this. You're a legend. You're very welcome, Vermilion. Thank you. Ah, he said that it's a black cat, by the way. Do you feel like you wanted to learn inten- intonation because it's helpful, or is it because people bothered you about it?、Um, I've always wanted to take a look at it. So, interesting. Interesting. It's a good question.、Um, when I was studying Japanese, there were no, no resources on this pitch accent. Nobody talked about it. No Japanese people talked about it. Once in a while, you'd hear like, someone at the bar or something would say,、uh, Can you hear the difference between hashi and hashi? Do, what's the difference? <laughs> like once in a while that would come up, but it was never in any textbooks or anything, so I didn't know about it. And now the past four or five years has become like the, the thing to know about in Japanese learning community. So I think it's important that I take a look at it. So it's a little bit of both. It's because,、uh, not because it's helpful to me, but because people bother me about it and because I'm interested in it. It's, it's very interesting. And now that I'm studying it, it's like, oh, it's not as complicated as I thought, and it is kind of interesting.、Um, What really threw me off was the, the word pitch.、Um, it's better, I guess, to just think of it like the pitch on a keyboard low C, high C. Ha, she, ha, she. Not saying it harder or stronger, just with a higher pitch. Ha, she, ha, she. Like that, right? So that's basically what pitch accent is. It's just those. And then there's a couple little rules that go together, and it, that's about it. It's not that difficult.、Um, but I don't, I, like, If you don't study it, I don't think it's a huge issue, but I think it does make you sound a little bit more natural if you do study it. So, yeah, up to you. Ten years ago in college, my Japanese teacher said Japanese has no pitch and is atonal. She was Japanese, but now I feel like everybody talks about pitch accent. Yeah, it's definitely not atonal. It's definitely not the fact. It's definitely not that.、Um, Dogen, in his first couple of videos in his, in his、um, Patreon, ac- or actually on his YouTube too, those videos are, addresses why Japanese teachers tend to say that. Um, mm-hmm. And I found his explanation easy, very interesting. And I think I'll leave it to him to explain it to you on his YouTube videos. I'm not going to take away the fire for that. I will never be covering Pitch XN in detail because I don't feel like Dogen's sort of a friend and I won't be taking his type of, you know, I'm not going to copy his content basically. So, um,. I put a year membership to Token Andy on my Christmas wish list. Nice, Amanda. Well, I、oh, hope if you get it, you'll enjoy it. There's going to be a big sale starting so, very soon, so definitely wait for that. Hi. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Hi. Hi. I said, I'm going to get it. 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 カキです。カキとカキ。で、うん、which is which? カキがパーシモンズ。カキ is、うん、persimmons。で、カキ。カキ is oysters. oysters. So you just say it hot. The, the, what, I'll give you the one quick tip. If you start with a low pitch, the next in, a word with a low pitch, the next character is always high.、うん、And if you start high, the next one is always low. That's the only thing I'll say. That's the, that's the spoiler. So, カカ。Ki. That's oysters. Kaki is persimmons. Okay. Ah, demo sa, mattak o naji kamo shi de nai mono ima o moitsuki mashita. Ano, kono hana. Hana. To hana. Oh, that's flat though. Ah, flat nanda. Chotto mutashi. Well, but no, that's still, it's basically the same, but it doesn't go quite as high. Hana. 
Bravo is it? They might Hana. be the same, actually. There's a ton oh. of words that are exactly Hana. the same pitch accent. So you can't just take pitch accent and be like, well, that's how you can differentiate all the all of the uh, homonyms. It's not the case. There's probably, there's sometimes there's like 20 words. They're the same pronunciation, same pitch accent, same everything, and just so. different kanji. So it's not a guaranteed thing. なんか、あの、漢字の熟語のになると分からない時があるよね。漢字の熟語になるとその何の意味でこの言葉を使ってるのかが分からない時があります。Do I would think of mnemonics for the words. And then and then the more you use them and encounter them, the more they stick. If you just see a word and try to remember it, it doesn't really work. I think the combination of rhythm and pitch is what makes Japanese sound so beautiful to me and is part of why I wanted to learn it. Nice. There's so many words that are spelled the same even in my native language, so it was a normal learning point for me here in JP. JP. Pitch accent really makes a lot of difference in meaning. I guess. I don't know. Not so much. <laughs> I mean, yes. I suppose. Um, I suppose, but mm -hmm. in every language and especially in Japanese, context is so important. Like my favorite example for this is, um, hashi wo kudasai or hashi o kudasai, right? One is bridge, one is chopsticks, but is anyone passing out bridges? Hashi o kudasai, hashi o kudasai, right? Th like, yeah. Okay. So one is quote, correct pitch accent and one is wrong but there is no japanese person on the planet in any situation ever who's gonna think i want them to pass me the bridge especially <laughs> since in context you're gonna be at the dinner table and you're gonna be hey pass me the bridges like never and almost every single situation that i can imagine まあ, almost every single situation it's the same thing like contextually speaking it has absolutely no effect on whether or not you will be understood in context because of a confused word there may be some situations where it's really off and like they just don't know what that word is at all but as far as like mixing up words i i don't know it's very hard for me to imagine a situation where it matters uh, with that said i still think it's cool and i still think it will make you sound more natural if you learn it hi what if someone is trying to sell you a hashi that could be good that's what i want to sell you bridges could happen so many so few but unclear reminds me of french word Fumeru, to smoke. Ooh, so I say smoke making work. Yeah, so stuff like that, like Mysterica just said. Those kind of like um, attaching ideas to that. Um, mnemonics and things like that. And sort of attaching it to your English words in the beginning. Excuse me, really helps make those stick. My first exposure to pitch accent was a Japanese person from the countryside being teased gently for not having a standard Tokyo pitch accent. Yeah, it happens all the time. So there are many pitches all over. We were just having this conversation <laughs> with her friends who were over this past weekend mm. of how like uh, people up north, they say, internetto, which is actually, so that pattern, ima, internetto. I don't know if uh, Himia is here today, <laughs> but that pattern does not exist in standard Japanese. Internetto. So that it goes up on the netto. And the first two, the first two wor uh, characters are flat, both. In standard Japanese, the f two characters in a row being the same pitch is doesn't exist. So um, that they will get made fun of sometimes for that. So it, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's super interesting. I just think it's fun. Yeah, there's like, you'll have like a, a pitch accent dictionary and be like, this is all that exists. And then you go like two hours north and it's like, <laughs> it's like, what? That's not right. Yes, it is there. So it's interesting. Um, Dog Dogen's interesting point to that was, yes, there are different rules in other places, but when you're there, those their pitch accent is consistent with their, quote, rules. So if you mix them all, you just sound kind of odd or we sound foreign. But I don't mind sounding foreign. But I still am working on pitch accent because I just find it interesting. Mm -hmm. Andy, do you have any advice mm -hmm. for someone learning Japanese and not being daunted by how difficult and how much time is required to learn the Japanese language? Uh, my, my main thing with that is every language learns a, um, 
takes a long time to learn. Every language is daunting at first. Uh, kanji makes it a little bit more daunting, but less daunting than Chinese, I think. Chinese has tones, and every word is kanji. Uh, the grammar's easier, I, I think. Kan I think Chinese grammar is quite straightforward for English learners, but um, you're going to have to learn way more kanji if you learn Chinese. Um, but every every language takes a long time to get good at. I mean, expect two years at least and uh, and just plug away at it a little every day and you'll get there. I had a teacher from Wisconsin who sounded just like all the rest of us, except she would tell us to wash the dishes. Home economics. <laughs> right, right. I watched a kanji breakdown video today and helped me a lot with figuring it out. I'm a total beginner yet. Nice. I'm glad that you found it helpful. Japanese sounds like raindrops raining down. Chinese sounds like whispers of the wind to me. Interesting. That's a good actually. Mm. It's not a bad. Um, it's not a bad. Um, what should we call it? Comparison. Oh. I, I I watched a sort of a silly video a while ago from um. Uh, what's the name of the channel? Why. The why the why files. Wi and it was one of those ones where it was talking about how the CIA uses um. They they use backwards recordings mm. to see like what people really mean. Uh, I've got fun stories about that where I tried to like reverse a bunch of recordings I had and it's there's some weird stuff pops up. But <clears throat> you and I used to do a podcast. We may do it in the future. But I tried it on that, and what I really noticed was even though we were both speaking Japanese, her Japanese backwards sounded way different than my Japanese backwards, and it it gave me some pause. And re made me realize I needed to work on my pronunciation a little more. And that was not pitch accent, but it was um, hard stops. Like, instead of this, it's this. And then it's just... So, then, then. so it was stop, super... Stop, there was then, super... Then. Those stops were super hard just everywhere. Tabemono. Not tabemono. Or tabemono. Wo. Taberu. Instead of tabemono o taberu, like you know that do, so mm -hmm. I'm extending that there. So my Japanese would have a little bit more like um, extension, extension or like looseness, mm. whereas hers was super like chick, 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 like raindrops falling down. Um, so that was super interesting, doing it backwards and seeing just you could really tell the difference when you did mm. that because you couldn't hear the words anymore, so you didn't know the meaning. So hearing it backwards, you could really tell the difference from the sounds. Uh, Andy, would you consider yourself native level in Japanese? No, 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 no. I'll never be native level. I'm good enough. I, like, I barely have to pull out a dictionary when I'm playing games anymore, which is nice. But I, up until, like, a year or two ago, I was Mama, worse than I am now. I wish I could become a native. <laughs> <laughs> fun story. Well, not fun story. Never mind. Uh, would you recommend watching movies anime with Japanese uh, sub, English sub, no sub at all? I, I prefer to watch them with Japanese subs. I, I like having the Japanese subs because it gives me reading practice. Some people say don't do that because you'll get, you, you know, you won't pay as much attention to the listening. But like two birds, one stone. Mm. You know, you get reading practice and listening practice at the same time. I like to have it for just for that reason. Um, sometimes without the subs might be nice. Ne never English subs, in my opinion, when you when you're committed to learning. Just just go all in on that. Yeah. Oh, fair, fair enough. Ah. <laughs> and the fish. I have to go. A hungry baby needs feeding. All right, Kaylee. Have a good Hi. one. Thanks Arigato for hanging out. Gozaimashita. Gambare Yuki-chan, says Senor Sereno. Ne. <laughs> anyway. Gambatta hoga ii ne, mo chotto. Sou ka na? I like games where I can turn on Japanese subtitles so that I can read along and practice my reading alongside my listening. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I like games that have, like, um where you can where dialogue stops where it's not like continual cutscenes. so like you know visual novel type stuff pokemon is awesome for that pokemon is great for learning getting better at katakana as well uh i think pokemon is more like top tier for learning japanese as well as yokai watch yokai watch was really good <clears throat> for getting started and pretty much any visual novel although the japanese in visual novels tends to be quite difficult mm. but Alas, hubby has no interest in learning, so have to l have English subs. Fair enough. Fair enough. I also have subtitles in Japanese. I have a good example of that. Yuki says she also prefers to have the subtitles because it's easier for her as well. Mm. Um, and most, like, most Japanese YouTubers have subtitles automatically. Like, they make 
not like they're built in. Mm. Most of them do. And maybe that's because a lot of people like to watch with the sound off. Maybe like on the train or something. But I think it's because like even TV shows mm. in Japan have tons of subtitles all the time. And it is because there's just so many homonyms in Japanese. People say things a little bit differently. People from different places have different pitch accents and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So having um, having subtitles is really helpful. I don't like them in English. I don't like having them in English, although I got used to it because my grandfather needed them. Um でもそのグラあのグラマハウスの時はもうめっちゃ私も助かるし。Oh mm. yeah, it helped her a lot having the みんなでただ読めばいいだけだから。Right, well. right, right. Um I, there's an argument to be made that it it's better for your listening to not have them. Um and I I understand that. But I don't think it matters so much. I I think I think the benefits outweigh the negatives in my opinion. In my opinion, right? なんか最近そのさ、あのサブタイトルを読むのが私すごく慣れてきて、ま、聞くのも聞こえるんですけど、聞くだけでも聞こえるんですけど、なんかそのフレーズのそのフル先天数が出た時にどうやって言ってるの
because I could understand what they were saying and then see his response. So that was like a whole new level. I feel like it, that movie was made for bilinguals. That's who that movie is for, I feel like. Um, no, I, I I have... What's the name of that thing? I think it's the... Um, uh, there's a name for it. Somebody can tell me in chat, but there's this um, there's this phenomenon where you think you're really good and then you uh. realize you're really bad and then you think you're really good and you realize you're really bad and then you think you're really bad, but you're actually pretty good. And that just keeps going on forever and ever. Mm -hmm. uh, that's always been my life. Like the first six months, I felt like, oh my goodness, I can have a conversation with anyone. And then I'd like try to read a novel and I'd be like, oh my God, I'm terrible. And then I'd get pretty good at that. And then I'd think, oh, I'm pretty good. And then I'd, yeah, Dunning-Kruger, that's it. Not a and then I'd be like, oh, I'm good again. Yeah, I'm really good. And then I'd be like, no, I'm terrible. And <laughs> that's just been my whole life <laughs> for the past 11 years. It's been, oh, I'm really good. Nope, I'm terrible. Oh, I'm really good. Nope, I'm terrible. Over and over again. And even to this day, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like right now, I actually feel really good. And I know there's going to come a day in the near future where I'm going to be like, oh, my God, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but when I really realized... I think I'm actually good at speaking, or decent at least, is I haven't, nobody's Nihongo Jozu'd me in over a year. And I've met a lot of people this year. And nobody has brought up my Japanese mm. in a year. And the only person who did asked if I was half, like half I Japanese. The only person who's brought up my Japanese level in the past year was someone who asked if I was half Japanese. Mm. So maybe... Either Japanese people found out that we don't like to be told their Japanese is good. Ah, ついに Or maybe they found out. Or I've crossed a new level. I don't know what it is, but nobody has brought it up in a year, which is like shocking. That's that was that was I looked at him like, are you just like what? <laughs> he asked if I he asked if I was a foreigner. That was the question. That was about six months ago. And since then, nobody. ]ね. So maybe that. But but reading is still, you know, still my struggling point. Reading. Um so like hard hard novels. Like I tried to pull out um like novels written fifty, sixty years ago. Uh Waga Neko de Aru. Like things like that. Waga Hayo a Neko de Aru. That book. Some there's a bunch of free books on Azuro Azuro Azuro. <laughs> there's a bunch of books on there old ones and i downloaded a bunch and i tried to read a few of those and um i'm not there yet <laughs> <laughs> modern novels okay um there's always the point is is there's always you can always improve always there's always somewhere you can get better yes yes <laughs> you're very welcome new moody dis i'm glad that it's helpful Blue Sky something. Ah, Aozora Bunko. It is Blue Sky. Bunko is a is like a library type mm -hmm. of meaning. And it's often used for publisher names. Um Aozoro Aozora Bunko is a library of books which are which are past <laughs> copyright. So they're ah, free. Hi, hi, hi. So, so they're out of copyright. So you can download them all for free. Um, but they're they're quite difficult. Besides the Magic Tree House, and so my, I think the first book I finished ever was a Magic Tree House book. Then the second book I finished was um, Kiki's Delivery Service. But then the first, yeah, the next, actually, I might have finished Harry Potter, the first book in Harry Potter, before that. That might have been the first book I ever finished in, in, um, in Japanese. And it, it, it's hard in the beginning. There's a lot of there's a lot of katakana. There's a lot of um, words that are sort of difficult. Now I go back and read Harry Potter, and I don't even need a dictionary, which is really really nice. But um, in the beginning, it was hard. Like it was hard because you know kanji and stuff. But um, but it's not a bad place to start. And there's lots of kids' books and stuff out there too. I know. The one thing there are um, Harry Potter audiobooks on Audible. But I find them hard to recommend. I, I actually downloaded the first one and it was it wasn't very good, shockingly. But is what it is. Hi. Hi. あの、他のあ、その3回目になっちゃったこの文法や語彙にもっと重点を置いた方が良いでしょうかという質問が来てるんですけれど。うん。この浅い
ヘイガンクラーズさんかな、うんうんうん、でもその質問の文章が完璧なので日本人じゃない<笑>日本人かな日本人,日本,人日本語を教えてる日本人じゃないあこの人わかんないけど文法や語彙にもっと重点を置いた方が良いでしょうかじ自分自分が I, I use the Google Translate って書いてあるわ。あ、OK、OK、OK。Um, <笑> it's always good to put some effort into, into both, I think.、Um, and there can always be more. There comes a point when you don't really need to actually study、mm. grammar or words anymore, and you can just read or watch or listen or whatever. But depends on where you're at. I'm struggling through、ah. United do <laughs> <laughs> United States of Japan. United States of Japan. This book is far above my reading level, but I still bought it because it looked cool. Nice. It's always a good reason to buy stuff.、Hmm? United States of Japan. What is it? It's a good reason to buy stuff. I love Kinokunia. Nice. Ah, Kinokunia, ne? Kinokunia Shoten san. Ninki da yo ne? Ano, Oshade da si sa. It's a cool bookstore. Yeah.、ね、We went to one in the Philippines. It was very nice.、うん um, to answer、Shinjuku、your question, Vermillion,、ね、there was no like moment. It, it happened at some point, but I don't, I don't know when it was. But yes. I have, been, I have to be dragged out of book off. Yeah, I love just chilling at book off and going through a bunch of stuff here. I end up leaving with way too many things, though. Speaking of my awesome husband, he's going to try and help me figure out why my Japanese keyboard won't work. He may not want to learn, but he's supporting in my, supportive in my learning. Nice. Mata ne, Amanda. Good、ah. luck. And thanks, thanks, cool husband. The struggle with a new language is to break the first barrier until you're able to read a bit more and listen while understanding most parts because then most opens up and you enjoy your journey. Yes, yeah. It, it take, and that's the hardest wall to break. But when you do, you're good to go. The book off in Honolulu was a little weird, but I haven't been to any others, so I'm not sure if that's normal.、Um, the book offs in Japan are awesome. Yeah. 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 So, and cheap. I don't know how they stay in business, to be honest. So cheap. Relatively speaking. Senor Serena, no, what does she know? Nihongo Josu, I eat this car. Well, eh? What does she know? Nihongo Josu, I eat this car. When was my Japanese is good at? Or when was my Nihongo Josu? I don't know. When was your Nihongo Josu? Probably, Nihon Nikita, and Mosugu, that you get. From day one until like day 2000,、mm. you're basically always Nihongo Josu, and then there's some point where you cross that line. <laughs> I'm still on level one kids' books and Tokeny Andy Immersion Stories. I'm happy with that. I'm glad that I hope that you're finding those stories helpful. You have just inspired me. I pulled the first two books of Yotsuba to off my bookshelf to read. Woohoo! Nice, nice.、Aww. Those will be good. Another good、uh, manga that is very, very mas des, lots of mas des forms. And、um, let's pop this out over here.、Uh, not Dragon Ball. That's what I've been reading lately Dragon Ball in color. But, well, that one's not bad either. Although, there's a lot of like slang and stuff. But apparently,、um, a lot of people recommend this one right here. I haven't read, I only read the first book,、uh, Flying Witch. Flying Witch. I only read the first one, and it, it's not my type of thing. But the Japanese is very, very simple. Lots of mas desu.、Um, pretty easy to read. For example, this is. Chito san, mite kudasai. Yuki desu yo. Yuki. Ma, yuki desu yo.、Mm. Yuki. Nan desu ke do ne. Ah, she's correcting my pitch accent. I appreciate that. Sumase. <laughs> All good. Anyway, yuki.、Mm. One more time. Yuki. Yuki.、Mm. Yuki. Yuki. Yuki.、Mm. Yuki desu yo. Yuki desu.、Um, it's a lot of language like that. So it's very、um, easy to understand. Yuki appears like she really, really wants to look at this. So I'm going to pass that over to her. Ah, sumase. She kept trying to read it.、Um, That one's pretty easy, I think, for beginners. Ah, なるほど How do you find motivation in the low points? I've been feeling like I don't make any progress the last few weeks.、Um, I, I don't. ありがとうございます I just make habits. So I just keep doing it, even if I feel like crap about it. And eventually you get through it. Because low points, 
like low points come up on their own without you calling them they're just there and then they go away on their own like you can try to you know logic your way out of a low point but it doesn't work like it will go away when it goes away or it won't when you won't and it's not like you have a moment when you're like that pulls you out of the low point it's not like you're um oh my goodness i understood this now i'm out of my low point it's not like that it's you're in a low point for a day and then the next day you're like eh i'm fine today um so i just do what i always do or i take a break for the day you know but i try to do what i always like when i was really studying for two years straight i didn't miss a day i don't think except for my planned days off mm -hmm. even if i felt like crap if i was sick i did my anki i read a little something and i just did it um so no you don't you don't pull yourself out of a low point you do it anyway <laughs> and eventually you get to a point where you're still gonna have crappy days but like just keep going that's all easier said than done but Good that's just there. life like everything you have a bad day you don't actually pull yourself out of it it's just you realize you're no longer having a bad day one day <laughs> um you can try to pull yourself out of it but it won't necessarily work um okay. so no 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 advice for that beyond just keep going so you thought you ne so you thought you thought you thought there's a song i don't know mm. is there a song oh i had a bad day again so. had a bad day again oh, who is that again? fuel there's a lot of songs called bad day that's the one i remember the most uh. do you have any game recommendations for learning yeah yokai watch and pokemon any of them yokai watch and pokemon Ah, a lot of people like Persona, but there's no Furigana. Ah. Uh, so the kanji is a little bit difficult. But when you get to a little bit higher level, Persona is par apparently very good. Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest VIII is also a great option. I enjoyed mm -hmm. that. Although there's a lot of very difficult language in Dragon Ball that is very specific to Dragon Ball. So, uh, not Dragon Ball, um, Dragon Quest. Uh... Hmm, I kind of feel it the same. I can still feel improvement, but I'm a little burnt out at the moment. It happens. Eventually, you get through it. Could you explain your Genki course in your page? I was thinking of trying out your membership. Um, Genki course on your page. Oh, yeah. So, the website. Ah. The website, eh? Um, so, the website is... Mm. I'll just show you. Let's bring it up over here. Get the preview. Ah, so, nanda. We don't have a yokai watch in the West. The kaitere. It's a Japanese only game. Mm. Uh, order. I would order it from Japan. So get the DS version or Switch version. You can create a um, Nintendo Switch Japan account, and I think you can link an American credit card on it. So all you have to do is create a new profile on your Switch, and then set it to Japan. Then hook up your American credit card to it, and you can purchase g games from Japan from the Japanese the app store on switch you can do the same thing um there you may be able to get them on pc somehow i don't know oh uh, you can get the ds games you can just uh it's really easy to jailbreak ds's and 3ds's you can get them and jailbreak a 3ds and you'll be able to play any game from there hold on one second i'm gonna get the website open hi uh, uh, so no no mm. あたしんちおもしろいよね。ゆきのうち。うん、違います。ゆきのうちじゃなくて。ゆきのうちじゃないからその私んち。私んちっていう漫画があるの。あ、アニメもあって。そう、面白いの。There's <笑> <あ>、<笑> Okay, so this is the website. So we've got the Genki 1 course. This is where you start. There's the Kanji course. There's immersion material for reading, Genki 2, Quartet, your achievements. And there's like a little community thing, which isn't so, the community thing isn't so active yet because I'm not sure how I want to use it. But anyway, if you jump into the Genki course, all that is is we've got the lessons, lessons 1 through 2. Hi. And in each lesson, you start through with the vocabulary. Um, I recommend using an Anki deck. This one is some people would like listen to this for listening practice before bed or whatever on the daily. Um, some people just skip this one. This is something we'll eventually replace with the new Anki deck we'll be working on. The Grammar Stream Cut, you can get this on YouTube, but we have a separate place for it. So you can just do everything here. If you were to click on this, you'd see you can just keep going through all the videos one at a time. Mm -hmm. This sends you off to the immersion section to do reading. 
um, to do some reading practice that, for example, um, if we were to go to that, uh, we have stories with pictures and stuff where you can click on words that are new and get the meaning mm -hmm. of those. That are, It only has grammar from this particular lesson. Yuki's written like storybooks, pictures and stuff like that. There's half, han, sakana, gives you the meaning there. Um, and then if we were to pop back over to the lesson section, we've got bonus grammar stuff where you can work on speaking, shadowing, uh, textbook practice where we go through all the textbook practice, the textbook um, examples with you. So we do all of the exercise, yeah, most, not all, but like 90% of the exercises in the back of the textbook. A lot of them require um, partners. So we're your partners. <laughs> Uh, there's listening and shouting practice, which is just for listening practice Nan or for you, you read along with her. So this ka nan nen say this ka? Ni nen say this. Ni nen say this. Uh, only shadow Yuki, by the way. <laughs> there's a place for you to check off whether you've done the workbook and ask questions about things you didn't understand mm -hmm, in the workbook, mm -hmm. which the interaction with us is a big part of this. There's a reading and writing section where you can complete the reading challenges in the back of the Genki book and then Yuki and I correct you. Mm -mm -mm. Um... There is a challenge where you record yourself speaking, and then we give you feedback on that. Uh, and we correct all of those. And then there's a test, which is automatically graded with extra links and stuff. And there's <laughs> that for every single section. So that is the website for, I forget who asked. But I hope that helps. Yeah. That's Bye. The website. Thank you so much for explaining. I couldn't understand what Genki meant and what difficulty it really was. Ah, yeah, Genki is a textbook. Um, so we sort of follow the pattern, the path of the textbook. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have the textbook to do most of the course. There's parts of the course where you do need the textbook, but there's lots of stuff you don't you don't need it for. I only shout out Andy. I'm not a girl. <laughs> uh, Andy, what mics are you using right now? These are the SMB7. Sure, SMB7s, I think. Yeah, SMB7B. Is what we oh, have. Oh, you C, yeah. No, yours is also a 7B. <laughs> they're they're podcasting mics. So when we started the podcast, I picked these up. Also, the interaction you have with the community here is huge for us. Really appreciate the work in that. I'm glad. Thank you. That's a big part of the website, the, um, the interaction and being able to answer questions directly. We try to get back to all comments within a week, some, usually within a day or two. Sometimes it takes, if we have some time off or something, it takes a while, but. Tests are really good, but you have to go slow. Yeah, because we, we throw some tricky ones on there. Study Genki 1-2 with your video series. They were entertaining, clear, and above all, useful, especially as a self-learner. Having that quality of content accessible to everyone for trickery is truly amazing. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm glad to hear that they've been helpful. What J-pop artist do you listen to? I don't listen to any J-pop artists that I know of. I used to listen to some... Hmm? No, but that's not J-pop. That's J-punk. Uh, <laughs> I listen to a lot of J-rock, I guess. Like, uh, there was a punk band called uh, Taiyozoku, Family of the Sun. I used to like them a lot. I guess I do listen to some J-pop. I like some rad wimps every once in a while. Rad ah. wimps. Especially older rad wimps. Like, in deska, in deska. Those kind of things. Um, ah, Eru Garden. I really like Eru Garden. Eru 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 I was listening to Chat Monchi. I used to like um, a band before I even came to Japan called Envy. They're like a Japanese hardcore band. Headbang, headbang. What was that? Um, baby metal? I don't think I. Baby metal is J pop. I'm kind of. J pop metal? I'm not sure. J pop. Oh, Amuro Nami. さんだ。あ、本物のJポップ。だ。あ、Arashi. Arashi. 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 I thought they broke up. Maybe not. 
Arashi. Ah, so Arashi the Kaisan Shita? My first or second year as a as a a Kaiwa teacher, English conversation teacher in mm. Japan. This was back in like 2013. Mm. For a summer program, two two sisters loved Arashi. Arashi was their favorite band. Hey. And um they made us they made me mm. translate two Arashi songs into English. And then the the whole like week we translated them, and then they had to sing them in English. The two the two like eight year olds or ten year olds. That was the hardest thing I've ever done. I think I've just started learning Japanese and had to translate a song. Translating a song is hard enough, but then making it singable. But we did it. We recorded it, and they had it. It was interesting. The things they made me do. I only know Arashi because I'm the big plane nerd and Jao. Ah, okay. There's an uh, Arashi. Thank you, Jet. Interesting. Okay. Do you do like um flight simulators and stuff? This can be really cool. Oh, you also been. You're very no. welcome, Vermilion. Have a good one. ありがとうございます。多分夜にかけるんじゃないかな。違うかな。夜にかけてるのかな。夜にかけてるのかな。かける。かけるじゃ、わかんない。わかんない。ちょっと調べてみた方がいいですね。夜にかけてかもしれない